hello, hello, everyone. My name is Lance. Welcome back to Landscape. All right. I'm going to switch over and we'll get started. How's everyone doing today? I hope doing well. We'll turn the hat around and uh, we'll get started today. So, uh, let's see. I haven't played any off stream. So, we are still at the same spot that we were at beforehand. Still at seven or gym challenge seven. We're still at the seventh gym. Right, did you, uh, hey dude, what's up? Yeah, we're at the seventh gym, and we're gonna we're gonna take this on, and then I think we have the eighth gym right afterwards, because that's gonna be the dragon gym back in Hammerlock, and then we should be going on to the finals. So there might even be a chance that we'll finish the game today, uh, but for sure, I think we're gonna get the seventh and the eighth gyms done, no problem. Mainly because I don't believe there are any Pokemon I have to catch in between. Thank you, thank you. Um, so hopefully this goes extremely well and is just really easy for us. All right, let's continue off. All right, Marnie, or I'm just meeting up here with Marnie. With that shutter closed, nobody's gonna be able to challenge the gym. I gotta look into this. I just happen to have uh, too many of these, so I'll give you one, got it? You can handle yourself, right? Pierre's lead card. All right, I'm guessing Pierre's gonna be this guy that we're gonna fight for the gym. Oi, welcome to Spike Month, kid. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Hold on, mate. If you're gonna take on the gym mission, you better change into your into your uniform. Wait, this is the gym mission just outside here? If you're looking for the gym leader, he's straight ahead of here. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize. I, I thought that maybe, hey, like, we're gonna go to a stadium, but I guess not. Gym challenger. You wanna get past me? But I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. Okay. We will we will battle Team Yellow Grunt. That's fine. A Lanoon. So wait, all of them like like to use Lanoon. That's like their trademark Pokemon. Almost like uh like Mighty Yenna for Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we can just, like, one-shot this thing and move on with our day. I ran out of my coffee creamer, so this is a little, a little darker than, than I normally like. You and your Pokemon broke through. I did, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take you down like that. I don't want to let you through. That's why I was waiting all squeezed in this crack. But since I lost, it was really for all for nothing. Whatever, you won. So I guess I'll step aside. Alright. Fair. I, I suppose you will. Mr. Mime is a dancing Pokemon. It makes for a cheery member of our team. Is a Mr. Mime. It's some kind of invisible wall you can't get through no matter how you try. What's this? A gym challenger made it through. All of us Team Yellow members are, have blocked the way. Don't think we'll just let you waltz through. First. Hey, what's up, King Toe? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Uh, if you're around today and you want to play it all, let me know, because I should actually be finishing up the game today, so we can totally, uh, we can totally play. I took a look and I'm, I'm thinking we're pretty close to the end. A Thievel? Alright. We'll Pyro Ball, get rid of the Thievel, and we'll continue on. And then I did let the puppers downstairs here today because they've, they've been pretty good, so. We'll let them down with us. Where's Bud? Come here. Hi. Hi, oh, sweetie. Bro, how did you get, how did you make a, a, oh, you used the black and white thing, but you made a, you made a black and white cookie heart. That's actually kind of cool. I kind of like that. It's like a cookies and cream cookie heart. I wasn't able to properly greet you. 
I don't know why I, I put on that accent for, for the enemies, but I just kind of do. That was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon are all in awe of you and your team. Here, go on through. Check out our neon signs while you're at it. I do. I can't even read your neon signs. I mean, that one says go. I guess I can make that out. Bari Bari. See that? I lose them after the stream. I think you get to keep them. I think it's just a matter of, uh, I'm yelling for no reason. Uh, I think it's just that you have to spend the points to use them. Did I surprise you? I'm a little surprised how my how much my legs hurt from that landing. If I stand still like this for too long, it'll hurt so bad I might cry. So I'll shake it off with a battle. Bro, you stand still in a Pokemon battle. Go on, Cinderace. I know you can do it. Let's go. It's just a just a dumb old Scrafty, and I just hate Scrafty. That's fine. As long as he doesn't use Protect. Ah, perfect. Yeah. So last stream we were able to get quite a few uh, candies and such. So we got leveled up. I'm so weird. So I have to catch up. Oh, dude, I don't think you're that far behind. Did you take on the stone gym? Uh, well, it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain, so you should praise me for that. All right, now that the pain's gone, I guess I'd better get out of here. Um, but yeah, if you were at the, if you were at the ice road or whatever, or the ice path, that's like pretty close to where I am. Like just taking a look. If you were, if you're at like the stone area, Churchester has the, has, I think it's like the, the ground type gym, which is really awkward. Oh, you just got the water bike. Okay. So then you're already on route nine. And you're, you just have to make your way down here, and then you're at the gym. Like, you you are you are truly just, like... Actually, you're right here on Route 9. You just have to get to the other side of the water, and then climb up a little hill, and then you're right here at Spike Mouth. So, yeah, you're, you're not far behind me, man. And then after that, we go to Hammerlock for Gym 10, and then I'm assuming we go up here to do the gym challenge. Or the, the finals. So, we're getting there. No, dude, I'm not more ahead. I'm literally, like, just down the path from you. Uh, last stream, I think we spent two and a half hours raiding. That's why uh, my Pokemon are now, like, 60s and 50s. Uh, because we just spent so long raiding last last stream. We also we also caught some stuff that I needed. Uh, so, we got the we got the list more updated. We got, like, the Grappalocked, the Clobopus... Uh, I actually got a Mr. I got a Mr. Mime from a raid, and then I just evolved into a Mr. Rhyme. Uh, someone on stream, I think it was Slayer, made a mention that as soon as we finish the game, all of the Pokemon that you find in raids, or all of the Pokemon that you find out in the wild area will be level 60, period, from, like, from then on. I don't know if that goes for every Pokemon, but I sort of hope not. Oh, I finally got, I finally evolved a Snom into a Frostmoth, and that was the most brutal thing I think I've done in this game yet. Just an absolute killer process. Uh, let's see what else I did last stream. Got a Glaceon. Uh, caught a few Pokemon. Tried to get some stuff organized as much as possible, so. Yeah, we got a couple things. And we'll be able to actually move these guys over to the Pokedex, or to the, the Pokemon home. I just haven't yet because, like I said, I haven't moved over my Pokemon from my 3DS. And I've still got a long ways to go on that, so. Yeah, we'll see. BRB sounds good, man. How many boxes do I have? I have 31 boxes? Okay, cool. Actually, give me one second. I will be right back as well. Uh...
I just want to run upstairs and grab something. Okay, yeah, give me one sec, guys. Okay, sorry about that guys, didn't mean to be gone for so long there, I just had to run up and grab some. <clears throat> Alright, let's get back to it. Okay, there's another Mr. Mind block in my way, I can't get through no matter how I try, so... The HP of your Pokemon not, look, not looking so good, oh gosh. I practiced that back handspring so much, even a pop star would be jealous of these moves. Were you surprised? Oi, be surprised, you. While you're in utter shock, I'm going to sneakily win this battle. I was kind of surprised, not going to lie. I, uh, I was not not expecting them to do that many flips. Challenge by Team Yelgrunts. Send out Weevil. Evil's pressure. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was supposed to say. I'm pretty sure Weevil is an Ice uh, Dark type Pokemon, so pretty sure Pyro Ball will be super effective. Yep. Yep. That answered that one. We're gonna have to get a Weevil at some point. We need to feed a team y'all got. Alright, cool. I should have been practicing my battle skills, not my backflip skills. Thanks for showing me that. Guess I'll cheer for you from now on. Are you guys gonna go move the Mr. Mime? I, I appreciate it. He's kind of in my way. He's making an invisible wall and I don't know how. Shadow, did you just trade something? I think I just saw Shadow trading. No, maybe that's from earlier. I don't know, I just saw the Shadow, Shadow traded someone. Team Yell takes the field. This might be our gym challenge, but I won't let you ruin our cool seeker hangout. Alright, time for a panic or for a pincer attack. We'll do whatever it takes to win. Oh. Ah, I didn't have enough time to get my disguise ready. That's right, Team Yell is actually made up of Spike Muth Gym Trip. What? 
Hold up. So, okay. I kind of figured. I kind of assumed. But it looks like, yeah, like, Team Yell is the, you know, is the, the seventh gym. Not just that they came in here and took over, or that they are actually the seventh gym. Oh, cool. We actually do get a double battle. I was wondering if we were going to get one of these. Uh, yep, that will knock that out, and I think if we use Liquidation against Dra or Drapion, we should be fine. I'm not going to get a Leopard, or let Leopard get hit in, that's for sure. Alright, Pokemon gained XP. Cinderace is almost 67, which is really awesome. I think if I could get all my Pokemon up to 65 minimum today, I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe even 70. Uh, liquidation did a bunch of damage, so we'll do that again. I didn't even realize that Barraskewda is one of my lowest level Pokemon. I actually should probably get him up. Oh, whatever. Our gym leader is up next, but he's really strong. Got that? I mean, everybody already knew the true identity of Team Yellow, right? That means I won't get in trouble for not getting my disguise on, right? I sure hope so. No, I kind of had... Okay, well, well I kind of had an idea, but here we go. Barney said, shut your gob. Whoa. Oh, landscape. Uh, I'm really sorry. The lot of Spike Moths telling me here they locked down the city for my sake. Spike Moth just keeps getting worse and worse. And all Pierre says is, don't worry. So so we decided just to, to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challengers. We thought if we could stop the other gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Miss Barney would be the only one to win and to make it to the Champion Cup. And we figured that increased the chances of wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. Hold up, so Team Yellow's just started so that way you guys could literally just rig the gym challenge. Oh, that's no way to help people or help someone at all. Landscape, no need to bother with the preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. Alright. I, I guess we're just gonna... Go face the gym leader. Hey, how about an obstacle for my Cantonian Mr. Mime? If I give you my obstacle, you will give me a Mr. Mime, huh? Just say no. I feel like I can get one in like Let's Go or something like that. This guy's at least singing some good music. Sorry. So you're finally here, huh? See, I'm, I'm, I'm really not a great gym leader. Figure that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it, w it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon, but well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. Hmm. You know, simplicity is key. Also, couldn't you receive funding from the chair from Chairman Rose? I feel like you could receive some funding. Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spike Moth. Pierre's, the dark type user. You want to challenge me even though you know you're, you'll lose? Then this song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party, Spike Moth. It's time to rock. I actually kind of like this gym pick, this uh, gym leader. Nope, you start with a Scrafty. Officially, we can't be friends. We officially cannot be friends anymore. <laughs> Everyone cheer on my Pokemon. Let's do it. Scrafty, intimidate that opponent. All right. 
this is going to be a little brutal for him. I, I hope he's ready for this. What? He avoided my bounce attack? Oh, crap. We'll try it again. Use bounce. You just have to bounce on top of him. Okay. There we go. That's what we wanted. What? Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I guess it's not a Scraggy. It's a Scrafty. Uh, just, just flame charge him, man. You outspeed him. Uh, Malamar. Psychic water type Pokemon. Flapple. Let's go. Malamar's gonna mess you up with all this contrary ability. We're just gonna grab Apple him. I'm sorry. It's, it's happening. Oh. To be fair, I didn't think he was actually going to withstand a grab apple. But, he did. So, I will, I will take that. Malamar is psychic, right? No, he's not. Or, no, no, he is psychic, but he's not water, is he? I feel like, I feel like Malamar might actually be something else. Hmm, interesting. Magnetic Flux. Uh, yeah, no, I'll give up on money. Mag magnetic Flux. I don't think we need it. Obstagoon. Uh, I actually just realized I don't have any psychic type Pokemon on my team. Hmm. Obstagoon. Uh, we'll send out Cinderace. <laughs> Hoping. Maybe. I guess we'll try using Bounce. Yeah, I don't have any Fairy or Psychic type moves on my team. Or even Ice for that matter. I mean, Ice isn't very, like... He protected himself. Are you serious? Ah. You know, double edge him. Just double edge him. Oh gosh, that kind of hurt. Oh, that really hurt. Oh no, Cinderace, no. Oh gosh, no. Uh, Corviknight, let's go. Flying Steel type. You know what, I just realized that Corviknight is actually clockwork from Sly Cooper. I think he is. Here's a number I saved just for this one. Throat chop. Okay, that's a move. Uh, drill pack. See if the flying type does anything better. Yeah, just a little bit. Cool. 
And then now we just got his last Pokemon, which we can't even Dynamax or Gigantamax, so I don't even have to worry about him doing that. Scun take. Uh, you know, I feel like maybe Draco Ru or Dragon Rush or Draco Meteor might actually do some better damage to him, so let's send this out here. I don't do Encores, get it? Not songs, not move, not Pokemon. Maybe if you did do Encores, you'd make your fans happier. Everyone's gonna stink, but who cares? Ghost Gun Take. Use your Sucker Punch and Toxic. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use Dragon Rush and see what happens. Critical hit from Sucker Punch, wow, okay. He avoided the attack. Uh, Draco Meteor. Please don't knock me out. Bro, we dropped. <laughs> I was about to say we just dropped meteors on on a Pokemon. It sh it should probably be dead. If, if a Pokemon can have meteors dropped on it and it doesn't like die, that's uh, that's a pretty beefy Pokemon you got there. Me and my team gave it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. Bunch of money for winning. Neat. I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. I know you're not happy about this, but it was nice. Use your duck badge. And all of Team Yellow is upset because we got to fight you. I know. Do you not catch Pokemon up to level 55? Here's a uniform too. I've actually been thinking about just selling them at, the, at my concerts. <laughs> you should. My little sis Marnie is going to challenge me next, I bet. That was actually kind of sweet. So you're watching, sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned to battle and all that. That yeah, right? That reminds me, Marnie. There's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here and spike Muth as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? I think you've really be or become a great gym leader, even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no. I mean, when I end up being coming champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Good point. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to become a champion. Hey, Landscape, thanks for having an amazing ba Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so clear off for a bit, okay? Yeah, sounds good. You you have a you have a good battle. You seriously beat Piers? Here, a TM to remember this moment. Snarl. Hey, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad, even the champions come to sort things out. Oh hey, you got Pier or you gave Piers a thrashing, didn't you? You should head over there and, uh, to help. Come on then. I'll show you the way. Okay, I want to heal my Pokemon. Sir, I would like to heal my Pokemon. Sir! Kaboom. Landscape, thanks for coming. But I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making the noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. And for you, or, and for you that's winning the gym challenge. The only gym badge left uh, is the one you'll get from the Dragon's gym leader, uh, Ryan, right? Uh, Ryan uh, is the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit, uh, I, I pressed the button too fast. But don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. Come on. Bro, it sounds like Beta is smashing stuff again. That came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems like, or seems I'm about to have a champion time. I'm going to heal my Pokemon. You cannot stop me from healing my Pokemon. Perfect. 
Does the shop sell more things now? Now you can purchase more items. What, what do you sell now? Oh, max potions, I guess? That's cool. Maybe full heals? Uh... Man, I should buy a couple max potions. Because I'm never going to use the other potions. Uh, do I need max repel? No, I don't think so. And I have revives ultra balls. I guess we could go for a couple of these. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, that seems like that seems like what we need. Okay, on we go. We're gonna have to head to Route Nine now and see what's up. Like, what are you guys doing over on Route Nine? That's so. Sorry, I thought I saw a shiny for a second. These guys want a double battle? Heck yeah, man! I love double battles. I love double battles more than regular, like single singles. The toxicity and a little cactus. That toxicity looks different than mine. It's a male. Is mine a female? No, mine's a male. Why is mine blue? And his is yellow. Is his shiny? Hold up, we are, we are checking here. I am thoroughly confused. Oh, that's the amped form. Evolves into amped form when it has specific natures. Evolves into the low key form when it has for specific natures. Oh. It learns different moves too. What? Weird. It learns different moves based on which nature it is. That's weird. Okay, well, good to know. Okay, fight. Uh, yep. Take out the cactus, and then... Uh, electric poison Pokemon. So... Crunch might actually be really good. Looks like my buddy Topher just started playing. Alright, starting to get caught up here. We almost took out the toxicity. Bro, if you paralyze my Pokemon. No? Okay, cool. I was like, I hope he does not paralyze my Pokemon. I just got out of the the uh, the Pokemon Center. Like, I mean, I will go back to the Pokemon Center if I need to, but I think we should be okay. I'm just going up to this berry tree to get some berries. And I just wanted to do the double battle. Dude's rap career is over. But she's still, like, motivated. She's like, yeah, I lost, but that's okay. How many berries? Three. Shake it more. Five things? Shake it once more. Another three berries. Eight things. Shake it again. All right, I got 10 things, I got 10 things. I'll stop shaking, I'll stop shaking. Three Rosalia berries, Salic berries, Truffle berries, and one Lumberry, and one Tango berry. Cool. Okay, let's go see what's going on over here in the cave. See what's happening. Talk to the cop. What's this? The earth is shaking. Maybe uh, if I try to uh, sway in the same way, no, oh, not helping. 
Okay. I have to get through all the Pokemon. Someone just said something about a wild Di Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, that's right, that's right. We had talked about the fact that there could be a Dynamax Pokemon just, like, lingering around. Landscape. Hey, Hop. This is mad, you know what I mean? Where's Leon? That's what I'd like to know. That noise, it was like some massive explosion. There was a huge surge of red light, and then a wild Pokemon just started Dynamaxing around here. Brazen as you like. Pokemon were just Dynamaxing. Oh, no. Take a look at the news. Oh, man. Yep. Leon totally took down a Dynamax, like, uh, Barrasquita. See, there's Leon. He really is the greatest, right? I mean, yeah. I could take down that Pokemon, too. Lean his cheese, or, or if cheese are. <laughs> Lean his Charizard took down the Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. I knew Lee was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is, hey? Let's go meet up with him, Landscape. He should be at the Hammerlock Stadium. So they even put a crowd there just for when I get through the crowd. He's gone. Alright. Fair, I guess. If I go far enough this way, you can't... Oh, wait. There's a, there's a path down here? Oh, hold up. I accidentally just, like, went down, like, trying to make a joke. Like, aha, if I go down, you can't see me. And I found things. Pair of safety goggles. And another berry tree. Yes, we will shake the berry tree. I will shake it three times. Alright. Four times. <laughs> I keep getting like one berry at a time. It, that sucks. Okay, we'll, we'll leave everything that we got. I'd say we got a bunch of berries, so that's okay. This fine gent wants to battle, so we will battle him. Please indulge me in a contest of strength and wins. Gentleman Caden, huh? I guess he looks like a Caden. Oh gosh, what type of Pokemon is that? Steel for sure. Steel fighting? I don't know, we're just gonna, we're gonna burn it. Do, or. Dowblade. Dowblade. Kazmesian? Nope, I fought one of these things before. Pretty sure it's weak to bounce. Yep. We'll just bounce on it when we, and it'll be gone. Caden, is that all you had? You just had two? No, you had you have another one. Poltergeist. Uh key card Pokemon. I didn't realize that you have three Pokemon. Oh hey, this is the thing that I that I would get from uh from the little teacups. Which brings up a point. How how do I get the thing I need to to get the teacups? Um It's like stow on side. If I go to stow on side, I can get the chipped key or chipped uh or not chipped cracked teapot. So I have to go to stow on side. Okay, we'll go to stow on side real quick and we'll try to figure out where to get the, the chip teapot. I don't remember where Stone Side was. It was a ways back, right? I 
Is this still inside the the place with the fairy type Pokemon? No, that's Ballona or Bonnerle. Which one was still inside? Still inside. Still inside was the uh, was like the uh, almost like the, the like the Spanish Mexican market looking one. The one that I really liked. I really liked it because it reminded me of like Spain and like Spain markets and things like that. Okay, so let's actually go to let's go take care of that real quick then, because then we can get that Pokemon evolved. Still on side, yes. That's at the bargain stall. Today's bargain is a cracked pie. It's 3,000 bucks you still want. Yeah, actually, that's exactly what I wanted. Seriously? So. Hold up. Each day the bargain stall will be selling one item from the target or from the table to the far right at a reasonable price of 3,000 gold. Yeah, the item offers change every day. You still have a chance to buy the previous day's bargain if you missed out. So I didn't buy yesterday's bargain, so what else you got? Yeah, you can buy a tiny mushroom for me for 2,000 gold, that's fine. This guy actually buys a bunch of stuff from you. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now we got what we needed to evolve our Pokemon. So, we'll swing in here quick because I don't know how we're going to get into the gym challenge. If we're just going to end up going straight to it or not. Heal the Pokemon real fast. We'll evolve the Pokemon super fast and then we'll go from there. kind of weird the only way to actually get the teapot or the only finite method to get the teapot is through that guy there otherwise you just kind of have to hope that uh you have to hope that you know you're gonna get it give me one second here guys That was me being asked to come install a security system for someone. Alright then. Wants to learn tea time. No. No. That's fine. I'm probably never going to use this Pokemon. It's... it's n oh, nope. Honestly, catching it kind of sucked. Uh, because it was just really hard to find. The fact that you have to get the right teapot to evolve it kind of sucks, and then I'm, I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan of it. Getting the shiny for it someday is going to be just awful. Though if I get the shiny and it ups being or ends up or ends up being the antique form, I'm gonna lose my mind. That's gonna be really cool. You know, maybe I'll take a look at the shinies of this gen shortly hereafter. <laughs> Just looking at all my Pokemons. Yeah. Yeah, because I said that this one here I can't get because it's in the other game. 
Otherwise, I have everything for the most part. It's just one Pokemon, literally, that I can't get right now. And then I think maybe some of the fossils I won't be able to get. Some of the fossil Pokemon, because there's four of them. We will see. See you later. Though, when, the, like, when I actually find a Ditto at some point, I could start uh, getting eggs of Pokemon. Yeah, we'll go to Hamlock. Okay. Just flipping back to where I was. There we go. We got now we are back to where we were. All right, let's see what we got going on here in town. Over here. Hey, what's up? Well, if it isn't landscape. I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all, but what all or what all is going on here? An overflowing red light, the po or Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure what's what's going on. Uh, that red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such uh, things is part of a science or scientist's work. Gran? The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of uh, our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that uh, exe or executive lady. We just don't have enough da data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonya. Uh, we know more than anyone about the darkest day after all. Are you saying that the red light and the darkest day are connected? Hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? Probably. It probably is. So guys, my dogs are freaking out because there's a mailman across the street. Thanks, I appreciate the thought, but all I could ever do, or all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make th uh, that happen, but keep everyone's future safe. Uh, so you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Dude, seriously, you get this unbeatable champion thing. We get it. Graham, there's something, uh, or there's something I, w I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Alright, you two go go off to explain. Looks like we all know what we need to do, so you two clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. I know what I need to do. Alright, defeat that uh, Piers once and for all. You're off to Hamlock Stadium, yeah? Landscape? Uh, Ryan's a tough nut to crack. Oh, so you have to actually go beat... You have to still go beat... The seventh gym, dude. So I'm actually like ahead of of Hop now, and I'm at the final gym, which everyone was making a big deal that you get past the third gym. But now that I'm at the final gym, it seems like nobody's really making a big deal of it. So that's just kind of a uh, that's just kind of an interesting thing. There's nothing at the uniform shop I need. Everybody's favorite ball guy. Here we go. Hey there, welcome for, or thanks for rolling to by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. It looks like you managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect Pokeball to celebrate the occasion. It's a level ball. <laughs> a level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon's level is compared to your the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? I feel like the Pokeball is, the Pokeball guy is like slowly miserable inside. Long gym challenge is nearing its end, I see. 
Are you ready to face Hammerlock Jim and its leader, the dragon user, uh, Ryan? Uh, you sure bet I am. In that case, please change your new uniform. It will do. This is it, guys. That uniform you, you wear is a symbol of all of your victories. I feel your determination. Now head to where all the gym trainers await. No, not the stadium, but the vault. What? What? I'm waiting in a vault? I guess. I guess we're going to a vault this time. I was going to say, that's sure taking a hot second to load. Let's see, how many gym challengers are left? Huh, not even 10, eh? All right then, landscape time to explain the uh, the great Ryan's or gym mission. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be well challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far, and that's why I provided a format where you can really show off your brilliant combination or show off the brilliant combinations of your Pokemon, or and your Pokemon should be capable of. Okay, that's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. Double battles, huh? Sick. Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Leader Ryan has taught me two things. First, the dragon types are, f are furiously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. All right, so all we're doing is three, three double battles. We're not even going upstairs. We're just three double battles. Heller Prince, Lagoo. Okay. Uh. Well, I guess let's use that against the Pelipper. And we can use Crunch against Sligu. And we'll see what that does. Okay, well, awesome. We got rid of Sligu. Sligu's out of our way. And we'll prep up Bounce. Tailwind. Okay, so he doesn't have another Pokemon. This is this is it. Kind of interesting that my Barrascuta actually out, outspeeds my Cinderace. I did not realize that my Barrascuta had such high speed. Sir Fetch leveled up. Barapple is about to level up. Sebastian's the key. Doubles. There's a lot to think about with them. It makes it, uh, them difficult. I mean, they're okay. I can see why you've managed to make it this far. Yeah, I, I've been working hard. Time to face the second trainer. Come on, Camellia. Or Camilla? Camellia. Camellia. I like the idea that it's Camellia better. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role your opponent's Pokemon play. Look, I didn't even get damaged in the first battle. The first battle was like a breeze. All right, what do you got? Nine tails and Turtonator. Tur 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 Man, I, if only I had a water type Pokemon. All right. Uh, let's just use the bounce on the nine tails, and I actually just want to use liquidation on Turtonator and get him out of here. From whatever call, Turtonator is actually pretty strong, so if I can just not have him on the field, that'd be better. Uh, I thought Turtonator was a fire type. Nope, Tur Turtonator is not a fire type. Turtonator. Well, okay, I, uh, 
I, I messed that up. I thought Turtonator was a fire type. Are you just a rock ground type? There's no way. Alright. Flap will level up. Good, good. He's just using rock type moves. Is he really just a rock type Pokemon? Try using Pyro Ball and try using Crunch. I don't feel like Pyro Ball will do a lot, but like... No, it's not very effective. So maybe he's a rock fire type Pokemon. Yeah, but like, ugh, I don't know. That's crazy. That's a little annoying. I, I don't know what type he is. Fantastic. I can see those seven badges you have were, were well earned. You made it to the third and last trainer. Your moment to shine, Arya. Bro, this is Arya from Game of Thrones. I'm in a lot of trouble. I like a lot of trouble. Well, we can take down Obama Snow super easy. But the other guy. Ground? Ground Dragon? I think Ground Dragon. We'll see. But I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna give her a turn. Slowly making my way to the yellow gym. Are you getting caught up in the water, dude? Like, you getting stuck? Yeah, you literally go from the yellow gym, by the way, straight to the, the dragon gym. There's, like, no in-between. There's, like, a couple cutscenes, but there's nothing else really in-between. Oh. Dude, what's effective against ground? Like, I think I'm just being dumb right now, but, like... Water, grass, ice. Yeah, so wa water is effective against ground. Okay. Uh, we'll just flame charge him and use crunch. Just, just give a bunch of candy and mentals on. I mean, that makes sense. If you've been raiding for a while, I can only imagine that you have a bunch. Actually, if we beat the game today, then we get the... We'll have the chance to do... I can't think of it. We'll have the chance to do a bunch of raids. This one, Landscape, you've completed my gym mission. Come on, time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. From 30 to 52. Dang, dude. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though, I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be with or it'd be you. But I guess I should I shouldn't I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promising. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high of a hurdle that is? As his greater, greatest rival, I guess that I, Ryan, will have to show you. Gym leader Ryan uh, doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks two-on-two -two battles. You must be, par be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Don't talk about yourself in the third person, dude. That's really weird. You should, you should, just, you should just not do that. Alright. Ryan. Rihan, Rihan, Ryan, I'm not Ryan. Gigalith and Flygon, let's go. Rock type, and then flying. God, uh, everyone's gonna hate me for this. Flygon, flying, ground type, I think. Let the winds blow, stream forward, Sandstorm. 
How many Pokemon does he have? Four? Simple enough. Uh, hmm. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Dynamax wise, I think I might be better off Dynamaxing a different Pokemon. So I think I'm going to Flame Ball the Flygon. And I'm going to Dynamax Max Geyser the Gigalith. Rock is weak to water, right? Please? Please. Yeah, it is. Okay. That was really bad. I think Flygon is a... Flygon is a dragon. Yeah. Is he a ground dragon? Should be. I think Flygon is a, is a ground dragon. It is a ground dragon. I need help. I sent, I sent you something. Oh, if you need help. Oh, okay. Thank you. I, uh... I'll show you the thing I've been looking at. So, the strategy guide that I got came with, uh... came with a map of the region to show you, like, the region. But on the back side... It has the entire chart of type effectiveness of if you're defending and attacking and what's effective against what. That's just what I've been using. Because it tells you, not only does it, so like the one that you sent me shows strong against and vulnerable to, but this also has like the very few that are, have no effect, which is kind of weird how often that the, the, like those very few matchups end up happening. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight matchups. And it's weird how often they end up matching up. Bro, he had Thunderfang? Oh no. Sandaconda. Well, I think I can blow that Sandaconda out of the water. But, uh. If I'm being honest, I need to use a Paralyzed Heal, and then I actually need to use the Max Geyser against Sandaconda. Because I want to make sure that Barascuta gets the hit in. If the last Pokemon that he has left alive is going to be Flygon, uh, I just have to cure Paralysis each turn. That's okay. I can I can live with that. It's actually a really nice uh, chart. Vulnerable to strong against. That is really nice. I'm actually I'm gonna keep that. Thanks, dude. Yeah, there we go. Breaking swipes. That was your mistake. Because now this turn, Cinderace will take out Flygon. Barascuta should be able to take out whatever he sends out. It's weird that he's now a rock and a ground or rock and ground type Pokemon so far. But yet, and but he's the Dragon Gym leader. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what type that thing is. I think it's Steel, though. Looking. It is Steel Dragon. So why don't we just do this the easy way? Steel's weak to fire. The Ground Dragon is going to be weak to water. Bring the storm. My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. Wait, that thing's a dragon? Seriously? Also, why did my finger hurt so bad? Did I lose my finger? Use it a lot. Oh, he's one of the things that has a Gigantamax form. Oh boy. Okay, Flygon is done. And the Sandstorm is done, so now it's raining. So he doesn't have the sandstorm to uh, to help him out anymore. Who are you using that on? Cinderace? Oh no. 
Okay, well, I should, in theory, outspeed him completely. And the sandstorm kicked up again. Yeah, so I think I, I think I completely out, outspeed him all around. Barraskewda has faster speed than Cinderace, and Cinderace went before him this turn, so... This should be easy. Pyro Ball should bring him down to just a little sliver left. He's a dragon. I think Dark is good against dragon. Nope. Uh, fairy and something else, but that should do enough damage. Look at him. Oh, there we go. Boom. And the punch got in. Got it. So, cool. Dragon is weak against fire... Or no, it's super weak against Ice, Dragon, and Fairy. Dark doesn't have any effect on it. Yeah, Dragon and Dark are just normal, normal effectiveness. I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. Jeez, dude. Also, just to talk about, this, this guy is is the champion's greatest rival and I just whooped him in the aftermath of the furious battle I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm what can I possibly say calling myself Leon's rival seems I've grown quite uh, con er, conceited uh, for someone who can't even claim the title of champion overconfident in both myself and my team I'll give you what you want then the proof of, proof of your victory the dragon badge does seem like a nice guy. You can now catch Pokemon of any level. You've collected all the gym badges from the Galar region. Now, win your way through the semifinals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much, at least, for beating us in battle here today. Could you, could you stop talking in the third person? Like, us, as in you and someone else are here. I got a thing I want to try. If you want to give it a shot, it has to be in a raid. I need to be the one to max, though. That's fine. Do you have a Do you have a, a Gigantamax Pokemon? Hey, landscape. Sorry to hold you up, but there was something I forgot. First off, as a sign of respect, here's TM99. It contains the or it contains the move Breaking Swipe. Yeah, uh, bro, just pull up the summary of the Pokemon, and then look if there's an X, like a little, like, pinkish red X next to the name. If there is, then yeah, it's Gigantamax. And secondly, here's the Dragon-type gym uniform, uh, the mark of true st strength. Number seven, challenger landscape. You've completed the gym challenge. Now on you, or good on you, kid. Now, prove your, or prove your strength to the whole region at the Champion Cup. Rain, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out lots of different strategies and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna beat you and Landscape and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Landscape. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. All right. Yeah, if you've, if you've done a raid with a Gigantamax Pokemon, which I've done like two or three of them, and you catch it, then yeah, you can Gigantamax. My problem is I didn't realize, and I was like, oh, I already have this Pokemon, so I just let it go. Um, and then I was like, crap. Like, because then I was informed of, hey, you should definitely try to catch this thing. It Gigantamaxes. Dynamax. Well, again, wait, do, are you saying the one that you have Dynamaxes, or the one that you have Gigantamaxes? Hey there, Landscape. You gave Ryan a, er, a good thrashing, and that er, means you completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there's some things we should talk over. Yes, Dynamax. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That light that covered Hammerlock. It was just like the darkest day, where it said the giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Gala region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from Wishing Stars that have fallen to us. 
but we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing, or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The Legendary Sword and Shield. Sonia, my dears, my lab coat is yours now. Are you sure, Grant? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Uh, think of it, or think of this as something to help you finish that work. Professor Sonia, y yeah. The two heroes ha that protected the Gala region from the darkest day, and the legend of the sword and the shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. You and Hop could er, could be the one to take down Leon. I don't want to miss that. Not to worry. You can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Wind On. Go on. Head to the station or you'll miss your train. You did it. You got the Dragon Badge. Next to Wind On for the Great Event. I didn't imagine this game. It was incredible. What? <laughs> all right. Cool. We have got our badge. <sighs> We've done it. We've got all eight badges. We're moving on to Wind On. And uh, on our way to Wind On, there are some Pokemon we got to catch. Uh, one of which is one that Slayer asked me to get for him, so I'm going to have to get two Stone Journer, uh, which are just random encounters in the north part. Uh, so I'm guessing it's that area, and then there's a couple extra Pokemon I want to catch over here. So, yeah. Looks like... Yeah, looks like we should be good. Oh, we can actually buy more items now. Let's see. Let's see what else they have in there. Maybe they have they sell full restores now. Do you sell full restores? You do sell full restores now. <laughs> oh, I just bought thirty-one max potions, and now you sell full restores. Ah, oh, boy. It's actually okay because you don't always need a full restore. I am gonna grab like ten of them though. Full store heals all conditions and HP. Max potion just feel, heals full HP. Uh, so I'm supposed to make my way over to the train. Where's the train? I'm going to have to find the train. I think it's to the right, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, is this the train? This might be the train. See, it says Shadow is on and is doing a raid. Oh, he's over in the Fields of Honor. Got it. Okay. I feel like... This is not the train. Oh, this is the train. Wait up, landscape. I'm coming too. I had Ryan beat in no time. Once I got my head straight or er, on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that's it. Hey. Well, good on you, man. And you never stop nattering on through the entire battle. Oh, God. Even you know. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine as proven uh, by the dragon badge you won from me. You came at me with all that force of a raging storm, and even when I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup uh, tournament to face Leon. Uh, one of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Lansky. So I'll, I'll ring out every last thing I've learned during my battle with you, Ryan, to beat him. So get a move on, Lansky. The train's waiting. I still have this big bulky bag. Still, I still need to find a new, a new bag to use. Is this the scene from the trailer when they're both sitting on the train, just kind of like on their phones or whatever? Yeah. I'm just, we're just on our phones, just chilling. We're finally heading for Windon. There's a lot I want to check out there, but there's a big tower on, and the monorail. And Windon Stadium, where the whole gallery, no, the whole world is going to be watching us. You get it, right? 
You and me gonna er gonna make our match the greatest match that ever was. Uh, I would say I don't believe him, but at the same time, I feel like he's probably gonna be the strongest fight we have in the game, so it's pretty possible. All right, we're at Windon, so now we need to just progress through Route Ten, and we'll be there. So this is Route Ten. It's like a wall made of snow. Bet there'll be ice type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in this place. Come on, landscape. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll all get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Windon, mate. Yeah, man. See you in Windon. Uh, there's a shiny here. Two X attacks. Hey, hey, I'm just going to catch you right now. I needed a Mr. Mime. Or a Galarian Mr. Mime. And Mr. Mime, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to put you in a box and you're going to stay there. Mr. Mime's probably like, what? Uh, I need a not effective move. Everything I have is effective against him. Okay, let's just uh, spark, see if we can paralyze him, get him down a little bit, throw an Ultra Ball, catch him. Simple enough. And everywhere along the way, we're, we're going to be buffed by hail, and that sucks. Cool. Good hit. Uh, back to Ultra Balls. I wish I could reorganize my, my Pokeballs and make them more, you know, organized. Yeah, hey, Mr. Mime, I need you to do me a solid, bro. Get in the ball. <laughs> we're not doing this. You, we're not we're not having a repeat of Steelix. You're just going to get in the ball. You're going to stay in the ball. You're going to be happy in the ball. And we're, we'll be done with this. Thank you. For anyone wondering, last stream we, we fought a Steelix and... Needless to say, we threw uh, almost 20 Ultra Balls, and then the Steelix ended up killing itself. And it was the most, like, upsetting thing ever. <laughs> okay, so I'm just taking a quick look here to see... Yeah, the only place we actually need Pokemon is in the north part. Yep, the north section. Which one's considered the north? Uh, let's see, what's the difference? One has Sneasel, one has... Galalee, Vanillix. So, okay. So, we'll, we'll use that to try to determine which, which one we're in. Because, it, it, yeah, it really doesn't specify in the book here which one's the north part. It looks like this north part might just be a tiny little area, but then at the same time, maybe not. Dude, I thought it was going to be snow type, or like just like ice type Pokemon this guy was using. Nope, sends out a Gardevoir. Skewed is up in the nine or up in the sixties now, and I have defeated a doctor. He gave me ten thousand dollars for defeating him, almost eleven thousand. Sounds about right. He is a doctor. He can he can afford to give me that kind of money. There's going to be no avoiding you. Just battle me. <laughs> it's fine. How are, how are your gym challenges there going, King Tof? Hiker Douglas. Bro, we're not even an hour and a half in, and we already took care of both of our gym challenges. A Steelix? Oh. Oh, ho. Oh, you think you can just insult me? I just get done telling this, the Steelix story, feeling like the pain of that Steelix brought me, and you think you can just send one out in my face? Nah, nah, dude. Nah, nah. I don't think so. So I keep looking at my finger right now because I somehow got a cut on the side of my pinky. Okay. 
Okay. I beat the dark one kind of easy. Yeah, yeah, no, the dark one was kind of easy. Mudsdale, we'll keep fighting. Hit it. Trying to. There we go. Th yep, there. There, I got it. Stupid. I don't know how I got a cut on my finger all of a sudden. Uh, okay. I guess I missed my hit and didn't really do anything. Alright, this hiker also had $9,000. He must be a doctor, secretly in disguise. No, gosh, dang it, no, stay away from me, Sneevel! Yeah, uh, pff. <laughs> Okay, yeah, just battle me. Battle me, it's fine, it's whatever. Okay. So what do I say if there's a Snee- Uh, nope, they- No, 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 if there's a Sneevel, we're in the north part, which is where I need to be. Okay, so this is the north part. Uh... So we need to just find, oh god, we need one, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to like count how many we need. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we need seven Pokemon here, I think. So, uh. King Tope, you'll have some time to uh, t some time to catch up here because I uh, I have some Pokemon catching to do. Yeah, I got some Pokemon to catch. Played all. Uh, send a Barrasquita. Scuda, liquidation, there we go, shadow pair, shadow you can't have cookie hearts and then have the cookie hearts being eaten like om nom nom nom, <laughs> what's up, how you doing, also I totally didn't realize that King Tope was not subscribed to my, or was not subscribed, he has moderator, founder, twitch prime, but he's not sub. Tover, can you have five badges next to your name? Wait, are you sub? I think you are sub. You just don't have the you just don't have the the ball next to your name. That's okay. That's okay. I didn't even realize that like until this very second. Okay, battle me, sir. Looks like Dude, there are a lot of battles up here. There's like another four after this guy. So I think I'm just going to battle everyone, get that taken care of. And then once everyone's battled, we can worry about catching the five poke or the seven Pokemon we need. Corviknight. You're going to get one shot, bro. I have a Corviknight. I know what you're weak. I know what you're weak to. Ooh, you unnerved, so I can't eat berries. Mmm. You want me to warm you up since it's so cold up here? Mm hmm. Oh, sweet. Flapple, Surfetch, Troxtricity, all of them. I can bake some again like I did that one time and eat them. I'm very tired. Oh, that's fair. No, I can understand the being tired thing. I woke up. Like, I slept in a little late today and then. Uh, woke up, got my coffee, and uh, sadly, I ran out of creamer, so it's a little darker than I wanted it to be, but it's fine. It's coffee nonetheless. Flygon. Yes, Varus Guda should be much better against Flygon. I think. I hope. 
I don't know why everyone likes Flygon so much. I really don't. Okay, Flygon Phantom. Um, da -da -da. wait a minute. So you can always set up your camp, can't you? You can set up your camp, and your Pokemon will heal while they're at camp. I think, or something like that. I don't know. I'll just go back and heal. I'm not. I'm not gonna be super stuck. I'm like, Ugh, I can't go heal. I'm like, just, just go heal. Pelipper's Drizzle. No, it's better than hail. See, I go for, uh, I go for, uh, caramel creamer, because I just, I like the taste of, uh, caramel, so. But I ran out, and I'm like, oh, well, like, I, I had a little bit, right? So it's not like I didn't have any, I have a little bit in there, but I'm definitely gonna have to go, uh, go get some before tomorrow because I think it's starting to become a, a staple of of the stream is like the morning for the coffee and just being like hey yeah I just got a coffee to keep me awake uh, I didn't see what Pokemon he's sending out so we're gonna send out Flapple and then hope Flapple can take care of whatever he's sending Knocked out. Okay, got it. Uh, Draco Meteor, why not? Bro. Bro, what kind of luck is that? Hypnosis? No. No, no. No, 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 no. Pokemon. Uh, Surfetch. I had to think for a second. What are we going with? We're not going to sit here and wait for my Pokemon to wake up. We're just going to switch, and the next turn we'll just kill you. Did you just heal yourself? Bro. I hate you. I hate you so much. Brick break. There, done. I have I have used my sword and my shield against you and taken you down. Uh well, there's an item here and there's a Pokemon that's popping up in the grass. Hey, this is one of them that we need. We need a we need an Obama Snow because I don't have an Obama Snow in raid. You're in a raid? Wait, do you do you want me to join you? Like I can join you in raid if that's what you're asking. Oh, it's Toph. Yeah, Toph's here. Yes. Okay, I I will join you. Just just hold on. Don't don't go searching for people yet. Let me let me get get out of this. All right, it planted its roots. I'm gonna have to actually damage it a good chunk. Uh, slam. Yeah, I know. He's gonna heal every single turn. So get in the ball, and then we will be done. Stay in the ball. 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 Yeah, there we go. Yes, Obama Snow. I did not want to have to evolve up to an Obama Snow. I was like, just, just catch me one. Uh, no, no nickname. Send him to the PC. Okay. Uh, I have to connect to the internet again. All right, Skink Tof, we're we're doing a raid. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, oh, 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 I see. I see. I see what you got, bro. I see what you got. 
That is that is a Gigantamax uh, elephant. Wait, you're taking me out? Why are you taking me out? I mean, I guess I guess you can take me out. Uh, Steel type Pokemon. Yeah, I'll take Cinderace. That's fine. Bro, this is my redemption. I'm trying something, or should we kill it? No, try something. Definitely try something. Wait, uh, let me send you a link. I'm gonna post a link in chat here that you can click on. Uh, this is this is the full list of all Pokemon that I can Gigantamax. Oh, I see. You're checking to see if your Meowth can Gigantamax. Okay, sure. Go for it, man. Go for it. I am I'm 100% down for that. I did not realize that where that Meowth was on this list. Uh. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking at the list right now, guys. This is a huge uh, a huge chance for me to redeem myself because it was on Karapa or Kaparaja that I realized that I uh, that you can gigant or that it has Gigantamax forms and everything else. So this is this is my redemption here. If I catch this, this is gonna be a big deal. got emails why do i have emails up the wazoo i don't like emails stop stop sending me emails <laughs> yeah we can just start man go for it we only got three people but we'll have we'll have a fourth npc i think i normally go off a of rule if, if after 30 seconds of everyone being ready like everyone that i want here is ready if we don't get anyone else i'll just start okay All right, it's gonna be a massive Kaparaja. Yeah. It's a Gigantamax form. Our, our, our NPC brought a Togepi. We're screwed. We are screwed. We'll see here, yeah. If, you're, if your Meowth has, this gigan or has the Gigantamax form, dude, that's really cool. And you might. It very well might. Let's see. Something tells me you know that it does and you're just not telling us. Yeah, 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 it does. Nice, dude. What do you mean that didn't work? You definitely have a Gigantamax Meowth. If you had, if, you, if your Meowth was not Gigantamax, it would just be a normal looking Meowth. But if it's a Gigantamax, it changes forms. So yeah, you've got a Gigantamax Meowth. Oh, I meant for the attack. Oh, for the attack? Oh, it's fine. Max Quake. Who's taking the hit? Oh, is that me? No, that, I don't think that was me. Draining Kiss. Okay. I think we should be good to take it out here. Um, this turn. Because, yeah, we'll knock out a shield. Uh, two Pyro Balls on it is going to be, like, super effective. We should be good. Yeah, and he's using Double Kick just to knock out that shield for sure. Shield's gone. My Pyro Ball should finish it off. In theory. Yeah, special defense fell. There we go. Boom. Cool. So now we can catch or Kaparaja. Hopefully it stays in the ball. And if so, then we will have a Gigantamax Kaparaja. Ultra Ball. Here we go. Hope this works. Then I will have redeemed myself. Ah, uh, but money. Cool. Cool, cool. We did it. We got a G Max Copperaja. That's dope. 
You got it too? Nice, nice. Send to the bank, or to the box. And then Pokemon, let's open up the box and take a look here. So Mr. Mime, he actually goes to the other, he's in the other Pokedex, so that's fine. I won't worry about him too much. Kaparaja next to mine. That's actually even a higher level, so that's even cooler. Is this all I have to move? Yeah, I just have to move the Obama Snow. And I think Snover actually evolves into Obama Snow. Snover into Obama Snow? I think so, yeah. That sounds about right. So if we check the summaries... Only works in gym battles. Uh, oh, were you getting, uh, getting more money from from battles or something yeah so yeah so as we can see here a normal copperaja looks like that but then a copperaja that has gigantamax has the x next to its name and that's how we know so cool that's uh it's good for me to know i'm super happy about that i'm glad that we were able to get a, a really cool uh or a gigantamax copperaja uh and we will release the old one And then now we'll just have the one with the Gigantamax, so I can say I have it. Wait, wait, what? Alright, I do need a cop jump. <laughs> this thing's so cute. Wait, I see a raid. Alright, let me know if you find if you find another G-Max raid. Otherwise, right now I'm just uh Cause like yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be raids quite a bit, so I'm just taking my time to uh, keep going with the game here. Surfetch, surfetch, yeah. I think we'll just use slam with surfetch, and that should keep it alive. Nope, that killed it. Okay. Rip. Ripperonis. Did not mean to kill the Cub Show. Can I fly back here? Because if yes, I cannot. I cannot fly back here. Okay, then I guess I'm just going to have to push up to Wind On. All right, this is this is also one of the Pokemon I need. I need. Though, oh, this is a wandering Pokemon. Got it. I was like, this guy shouldn't be actually like out and about like that. And I was like, what, what the heck? But no, looks like uh, he definitely can be. I was actually gonna catch this poke or this bear, uh, in or yeah, bear tick and cub show. I was gonna catch them both in Alpha Sapphire, but it was gonna be like a massive headache and hassle. And I was like, I know I can just get them in Sword and Shield. So why why go through the hassle and the headache of trying to get them when I can just get them super easy? Do that one more time, and then we'll throw the ball. Put itself to sleep? Okay, fine, then I'll do it twice more. That's fine. If he wakes up here... Okay, yeah, I was about to say, if he wakes up all of a sudden, like, very next turn, that's some BS right there. It's like a wild Pokemon using a max heal. It's also super nice because now I can catch Pokemon up any level. Cool. 
Bear tick was caught. Bear tick is done. No nicknames, just send him to the box. It's Natasha person. Oh, To okay. So Toe found a Toe, is that a is that a G Max raid that you found? No? Okay. I found someone who might have found a, a G Max raid, so I'm gonna join in on it. If I can, if not, it's fine. Uh we're just gonna switch over to Barascuta. So if you can join me right now, I think this is a this is gonna be, I believe, a G Max raid. If you can, if not, that's cool. Wait, yes it is. What? It is? Oh man, okay. Give me a hot second. Give me give me a hot second. Uh if not, it's cool. It, it, it's, it's cool if you do it without me, man. I get it. G Max or a Beetle. It's gonna be uh it's gonna be like the next goal of the stream is to get every every single Pokemon G Max. Or every G Max Pokemon. Just to say I have one. Like, literally, there's no other reason except for just to be like, oh, yeah, my Pokemon's G-Max. Uh, I actually kind of think G-Maxing is kind of a cool function. Like, no joke. I, I'm really... Maybe, I can't tell. So, look at the list that I sent. Like, click that link. Look at the list. Go down to Aura Beetle. It's about halfway down. If it looks like a normal Aura Beetle when it's, when it's Dynamax, it's not a G-Max. Or, it's not a Gigantamax. But if it looks different from a normal Aura Beetle, if it looks like the image on the right in that list I sent you, then it is Gigantamax. That's like your Meowth. Like when you threw your Meowth, your Meowth became like super long and stretched. This is not a Gigantamax. That sucks. I thought maybe this was going to be a Gigantamax, but either way, this will be a good battle. Uh... Yeah, so if it changes how, what the Pokemon looks like, then it's a Gigantamax. If it looks the same, it is not. If it lo or if it looks normal. Actually, then again, I guess, that being said, if you've never seen an Aura Beetle, you probably wouldn't know. Right, which is fair. Alright, who's that? So if it looks like the one on the left, it is... No. So if it looks like the one on the left, that's the normal Aura Beetle. That's why, like, if you look at, like, uh, um, Inteleon, Cinderace, uh, Snorlax, they all look normal. That's a normal one. If it looks like the image on the right, like the the new weird-looking ones, like, the, you know, has, like, a different form or looks different, that's Gigantamax. So if you look at Colossal, like the one that I'm fighting... This one looks like the image on the left, so it's a normal one. But the, if it was, if it looked like the guy on the right, it's a Gigantamax. Same with the, if you go look at like, uh, or Copper Raja, the thing that we just caught. The left one's the normal, the right one's the Gigantamax. No, it's not one. Oh, okay, cool. Bro, we just ruined this thing's... Uh, defense and a shield. Oh no, not Barascuta. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, what a hit. Tar shot. Okay. Dude, I thought I was about to get swamped there. liquidation just throw some water type moves out of here and hopefully we can just really knock it down it's cool that everyone was able to bring water type pokemon for this thing because 
All right, that Gyarados cannot be a high level by any means because he did like nothing to it. That's gotta be like maybe like a level 20 or 30 Gyarados. Oh my god, I made another shield. See, dude, if you hadn't just, you know, done the stupid Gigantum, or if he hadn't Gigantamaxed his Gyarados, someone else could have, and someone else could have been like doing a bunch of like heavy damage. Instead, I'm probably gonna die here. Nope, okay, he hit Gyarados. No, our other Gyarados dies. Oh, I'm so, like, that's such a struggle. Bro, if you don't have a high level Gyarados, you shouldn't, you should not be Gigantamaxing. Gyarados fainted, that sucks. And I'm gonna die next turn if we don't end up knocking this thing out. So I I hope Gyarados or okay, this guy's gonna cheer, which should potentially break its shield, I hope. Yep, that breaks its shield. Takes some damage. Alright. Defense fell. Use Max Geyser. Hopefully this actually kills it. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm not actually going to catch this Colossal. Mainly because I have a Colossal and it's not a Gigantamax. So we will just let it go. But we did get some extra large candies, a star piece, rare candy, sick. We can actually use one of the, or that extra large candy and the large candies to get some Pokemon caught up in levels. All right. Use the that candy on Toxtricity because he's our lowest level, so 30,000 XP. Give me a second, guys. I think my dogs are going to freak out in a second here. Okay, so we have three battles here that we have to get through uh, to get up to the next area, which hopefully has a Pokemon Center. Yes. And then we can kind of come back down here and we can actually do all the catching and everything else that we need to do quick. So we just got to get through three more uh, battles here. It's kind of funny because back uh, in like Gen 5, I think, when Gigalith came out, maybe Gen 6, I think it was Gen 5, but back when Giga Gigalith came out, he was like one of my favorite Pokemon. And then, uh, then I found out that to get him, you have to do a trade evolution and he instantly became one of, or not one of my favorite Pokemon because I was like, that's just dumb and I could never like get him like super easy like I wanted to. So yeah, it's a fun history of me and uh, Gigalith.
Also, we're up in the we're up in like the mountains where there's snow and everything. There should not be a sandstorm raging. I feel like your scenery should have some effect on the or like on what's going on. Right on, liquidation as well. Use liquidation, take it down, we'll be good to go. And we'll be on in the next one. We're getting to the end here, guys. We're getting there. Is this Caden again? I remember the last time I fought you. Your name was Caden. Glenn? You don't look like a Glenn. You look like a Caden. Oh. Oh, that's a thing. That's that's a Pokemon I don't have. Uh, that's going to be a Pokemon I need. Yep, we're going to have to catch that at some point. Bounce is super effective against Phalanx. You know, my thing about Phalanx is it looks like, sort of like a... So, it looks sort of like a centipede or something like that, you know? But Phalanx is actually just, like, six little Pokemon that kind of just hug together and march and such. So, I have the wrong impression in my head, but I'm trying to, like, wrap the idea around that it's actually just six little Pokemon that fight together and once I get that around I think I'm gonna really like that Pokemon because I, 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 I already like it but if I could get my head around the idea that it is six little marching troops I think I'm gonna learn to love it uh yeah no we'll keep her grapple locked I was gonna use this guy for a bit I thought he was a water type Pokemon because he obviously looks like an octopus, but nope, he is actually just a fighting type. You know what? I said that. Now I gotta confirm it so I don't look stupid. Yes, he's just a fighting. Like, you would think this guy would be a water type Pokemon as being an octopus, but nope, he is a fighting type. That's too bad. I think he's a really cool Pokemon. Not that I, I couldn't use him, it's just that I'm better off using Surfetched than him. Uh, and this should be the last one, which is a double battle, I guess? I'm cool with it being a double battle. That's fine. Alright. Gillian and Cam. Heliwisk and uh, Kling Clang. Yeah, Heliwisk and Kling Clang, I suppose. Oh, it looks like Chris just got online. All right. Well, we might get a uh, get to do some raiding with Chris here in a bit. Liquidation against Heliwisk should make this easy. Helewisk is also another Pokemon I need that I chose not to get an Alpha Sapphire because I I essentially got to the end of Alpha Sapphire and I, I was going around catching Pokemon. I beat the game at about 30 hours having caught like most of the Gen 3 decks going through and then I get to the end and I spent another 50 hours on the game going back trying to catch other Pokemon and I just kind of I hit this point of just I can't, I can't do it anymore. I'm just, I'm done. 
And so I I decided like, you know what? I looked at like the last, like there were like 12 Pokemon I was missing, but I looked and I was like, I can get these in Sun and Moon and get these in Sword and Shield. And I'll have a lot more fun playing those than this. So I'm like, okay, I'll just, I'll just get them in that. So that's why we need to get the Bear Tick. That's why we need to get like Hilo Whisk. Uh, and then just like a, just a couple more. Had that Noivern taken just like another two points of damage, he would have been done. Noivern used Hurricane? Ah, we avoided the attack. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Topher, you caught it. Nice job, man. I also just realized I could totally ride my bike. Okay. There should be a Pokemon Center here that we can use, and then I can go back and catch the Pokemon that I need to. Winden. Okay, we've made it. This is actually a pretty nice looking city. No joke. Couple booths up there. The final stadium. All right, Winden City. This is the place where I become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Gala region. That's it. I'm headed straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, landscape. You should head there yourself. I have to go catch a couple Pokemon, bro. But after I do that, then we can go to Winden Stadium. I just needed to. I just needed to heal my Pokemon first. <laughs> so this is my team, huh? These are the six that I'm gonna I'm gonna take on the champion with. The champion in the finals. All right, I'm not I'm not like by no means am I disappointed in my team. I'm actually really happy with it. Uh, I told myself that I have to use Gala Region Pokemon for the finals and for playing through the game. So that's pretty nice. I think there are definitely other Pokemon I use. I'm not a huge fan of all of the Galar region Pokemon, but I am a fan of quite a few of them. I almost ran into the bear again. I did not want the Mr. Mime. The other lame thing is that these guys don't give me too much XP, so I might as well run away and just go... <sighs> go, like, just run away and just kind of keep trying to get these guys to spawn what I need. Powder Herb, okay. That's not the area I needed to be in. Three Sneevil are chasing me down. I'm just trying to remember what Pokemon it was that I needed. Oh, it's the it's the steel dragon Pokemon that I need. Whoops. I do need a Cub Show, so we'll we'll get a Cub Show up. I just gotta find a Pokemon that's uh not very effective against it and then hit it with that. Pokemon that's not very effective. Not very effective. Uh they're all effective.
Uh, uh, that's kind of rough. Maybe I'll just start checking Ultra Balls at it. Hopefully catch it. I don't think I actually have anything that can weaken this Pokemon. I can try. Like, I guess I can try Surfetched. Actually, Corviknight has some... It's Pluck and Drill... Drill Beak or whatever aren't very effective moves. They're pretty weak moves. Maybe I can actually hit it with one of these and catch it. So, we'll try that. Sixty, eighty, one twenty, seventy. Try using pluck. Oh, I gotta go to work now. All right, have a good one, Toph. I'm gonna see catch you later, man. I'm gonna have to get a different Pokemon to catch this Cub Show. I'm gonna have to. Bomb Snow, Snare, or er, Snow Tick, or er, Bear Tick. We got. I could use two Duramaka, two St or Strong or Stronger. And then Dura Loudon is the other one we need. And and, and the Bear Tick. So Pokemon, what do we have? We just need a Pokemon that can hit it and not kill it. Nope, that'll hurt it or that'll kill it. Maybe grapple locked. Yeah, maybe we'll use a grapple lock to try to catch one. So if you're if you're still here, how late do you have to work tonight, dude? Ah, I couldn't I couldn't turn. I couldn't just simply turn. Are you kidding? Ugh. Sucks. Yeah, got away safely. That's fine. Okay, we'll get off the bike. We'll just get off the bike. It'll be easier that way. Duramaka. Actually, we can kind of keep hanging back down to the bottom area too because there's two Pokemon down there that I could catch. Uh, that would be kind of nice. Hi, hey, pup. What's 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 up? Hi. Hello. The pup came down to see me. Hi. I'm just petting the puppy. Hi, pup. All right. So if we use a reversal, it only does damage based on how much. HP we're missing. So it is super effective. Okay, if I throw an Ultra Ball now, we should be good to catch it. If he uses Rest, that would be even better. Nice, cool. Bear Tick down. Went off the plate. Uh, two Duramaka, two Stonger. Glalie and Vanillix. Oh, and then Dur Duraladen. Dur Duraladen. I guess there are a couple Pokemon we gotta we gotta catch here, which it sucks, but at the same time, it's okay. So we'll just make a qu quick round here. See if we can find the Pokemon we're looking for. If not. This kind of sucks because there's like a lot of spots that this Pokemon that I'm looking for can spawn. It has a 1% chance to spawn. So it's like I need to check every spot. Every time I... For every spot I check, I have a better chance of finding it. But if I ride my bike... There's a good chance I'm going to run into 
a Pokemon. Alright, that doesn't have what we need. Oh, didn't see it over there. Over. I'm getting the path down. We're getting there. I'm trying to take care of these overworld Pokemon first because the ra or the random encounter Pokemon are gonna suck. If I hug the top top wall, does that work for getting down? I think so. Wait a minute. If I go over here, will a new Pokemon spawn? They're gone. Oh. So hold up. So I can just... Oh, to make this like super easy. I just have to go like a little ways away and they respawn. Oh, this is so much easier now. Pokemon over there. I was only seeing two Pokemon, but the thing that I'm looking for, as far as I'm aware, is a rather large Pokemon. It's fine. We'll just keep respawning these few spots. Looks like maybe if I tuck myself in the grass here, just up against the wall, I can see it a bit better. Mr. Mimes. He'll spawn one of these times. Nope. I think this will also work the end down below to catch the Galele and the Vanillix. The same strat. Thank gosh, this is an overworld encounter. <gasps> yes! Boom! There we go! Caught it! Never found it! Dura Loudon. Or Dura. Dura Ludon. Dura, Dura Ludon. Dura Ludon. Ludon. Dura Ludon. There we go. All right, let's see. We do have some not very effective moves in here. I think we'll swap to Corvin Knight, uh, just because I don't want to kill this thing by any means, so I do want to use not very effective moves. This thing does have a 1% chance to spawn here, so just want to take it safely. Dragon Tail, okay. Fuck. Nice, perfect. Just use Pluck a couple times, catch this guy, and then we can move down and catch the Vanillix and the Glalie. Catch those guys, and then we should only have our two random encounters left, which we can just find a nice spot to do. And they should be a... Actually, I think I'm just going to get one of the... One of the Stonger for now, and then when Slayer comes around again, we'll come back and we'll get Slayer his his Stonger.
That was a critical hit. Jeez. That was nothing. Dura Ludon has been caught. Sent to a box. Cool. Now we'll go down below. And there should just be... Hey! Okay. Well, one, I accidentally ran into the Pokemon. Two, this is the Pokemon I exactly needed. So, I'm not upset. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hey. Well, coincidence. Uh, I should actually send out Grappleocked. I'm going to send out Grappleocked. Have him just uh, hit this guy and uh, hopefully not kill it. I totally forgot that I brought Gap Grapple Locked into my party. <laughs> uproar. Okay. That's right, you're still uproaring. So I just need to hit you relatively hard, but not kill you. Well, reversal. I hope I don't kill it. Oh, no. It's going to damage me. Oh, no. I'm going to do a lot of damage to this thing now. Because he just hit me even harder. No. Dang it. It's also super effective. So, it, it was going to die regardless of what I did. Oh, no. I think I can I can uh, generate a new instance if I walk inside the uh, the train station. So maybe I'll do that. Get off the bike and just do that to make it a little easier. Yep, for sure. I can just generate a new instance by walking in here and walking out. A lot easier, a lot safer. But no light. The ice cream Pokemon. Fight. No. Nothing I have is not very effective against it. Except for Grapplock. The problem is, is I need Grapplock to not kill it. Revival Herb. But it had no effect. Wait, what do you mean it had no effect? What? Oh, I did not read that right. Oh, I, I read that wrong. It must have done something different. That's fine. Max Potion. Okay, Pokemon. Grapple locked. Okay. If I could, I don't think any of this is going to work really nice. 
I'd have to outspeed this thing to do this. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I, I need a different Pokemon. So I grapple locked. You just don't work for this here, fighting type. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Maybe, maybe we can catch it like this. Well, I got three ball shakes, so... Okay, cool. I was like, either way, we, we're, we'll be able to catch it if we're getting three ball shakes. Oh. Alright, grapple locked. You're, out, you're off the team. The problem... Or, I don't know. He doesn't have to be off the team. It's just... The problem with grab -a -lock, or grab -a locked is that he doesn't. I don't know the best way to explain it. He 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 doesn't have like the right move set to do what we what we need him to do. Okay, what else did I catch? Caught you. And I think that's it. Everything else in here still looks good. So, let's look at our listing. Where do we have to set Duralotum? One, two, th okay, so from him, one, two, three. is I'm just checking some here guys I see that there's one more Pokemon I don't have and I'm wondering if I can even catch him before the end of the game wait where on earth is that? Oh, it's in the wild area. Seriously? What's the spawn rate for it? Oh, it's a uh, super, super low. Green, brown, purple. So when it's cloudy, when there's a thunderstorm or fog. And it's a random encounter. Does he have a visible encounter? Uh, his like evolved form does. Huh. Okay. So, so the wild area is going to become a very interesting place for us. Like a very, very interesting place for us. Because there's a Pokemon that takes up these three slots right here. But the only way to get it is from the wild area. Or a max raid battle. Is there a thing about max raid battles like a spawn? Is there a chart that shows like what Pokemon can spawn or?
Okay, so there is a percent chance of the longer they encounter data for uh, for the currently running wild area news. So these are the types of Pokemon you can encounter for max raid battles in different areas. Interesting, I guess. This is very interesting. But this doesn't really help me because I'm trying to figure out what Pokemon spawn in max raid battles. It doesn't, like, there's no actual, there's no actual, like, list that tells you what Pokemon can spawn in max raid battles. And that kind of sucks because, I mean, it's the only way for me to get this thing is to just go hope it spawns. Uh kind of kind of do not want to go through that grind right now I'm already up here trying to catch these pokemon so I guess we'll just stick to these for now but <sighs> go lately Yeah, I really don't want to go through the grind of trying to catch that pokemon, but I'm going to have to. So 1 or 2% chance to find it. Uh, honestly, I, I get the feeling whatever I use against this thing is going to kill it, so I'm just going to have to be careful. Corviknight? Please don't die. Okay, I just need you to pluck this thing and see how much damage you do. That... It was kind of perfect, actually. I, we'll just use Corviknight from now on, because that was that was perfect. And then we'll go up and we'll heal Corviknight after this, so that way Corviknight will be alive for the next couple ca encounters. Uh, Galele, that was really rude. That was extremely rude. I catch Galele here and catch Frost last a little bit later. Then I don't have to worry about getting them. I pressed the wrong button. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, oh no. No, that's not what we wanted to do. That is so not what we wanted to do. That's horrible. Also, we can fly back here now. Okay. That was not what we wanted. I would have had it. I would have had the Pokemon caught. Disappointed with myself. Truly really disappointed with myself that that didn't need to happen. That did not need to happen like that. Go back down, we'll catch our Galele. This thing has like a 5% chance to spawn or something, or 10 or something like that. I don't know. It's it's some percent chance, okay? Galele, I 
just need you to spawn for me. Because I killed you last time and I totally forgot I should probably switch up my lineup and put Corviknight first so that way I don't have to worry about swapping in the middle of the battle because I'm really bad about that. Man, that's gonna be like, now I'm just gonna have to be like really stupid luck about getting one of these things to spawn. I, like, ugh. What's really lame is that Vanillix has the same spawn chance as the Galele. So I'm just getting extremely unlucky here. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, use a pluck, then catch it. Gosh, imagine going for a shiny Galele. Okay, even weaker than last time. That's perfect. Okay. Now, if you stay on the ball, uh, I think we'll be down to two or three le things left to catch. And then we can go take on the finals. And I'm sorry, everyone. I, you know, we just took a took a pause break here, so that way we could get some Pokemon caught up and get them caught and everything else. So, just something we had to do real quick. I guess I didn't have to do this, but I definitely wanted to do this. And I see someone doing a max raid battle for a Steelix, and that's very tempting. Actually. That is very tempting. I'm gonna join this if I can. I can, sweet. Uh, the reason this is so tempting for anyone who doesn't know is the last or during the last stream, I wasted 20 Pokeballs on a Steelix and the Steelix ended up killing itself and it was a whole thing, and it was frustrating. So, if I can get a Steelix, that would be pretty cool. That would actually be really cool. Because then I don't have to worry about getting a Steelix in the future. Watch them come out with like a Gigantamax form of Steelix. And then I have to... <laughs> I actually have to go get another one that'd be awful actually taking a look here the only pokemon from previous generations that have gigantamax are melmetal garbodor snorlax eevee lapras kingler gengar machamp meowth pikachu butterfree blasters charizard venusaur they pick some really random pokemon to give gigantamax to like, some really random ones. Dude, we need more pe people for this raid. Come on. <sighs> yeah, I know we have 60 seconds left, man. I want more people for this raid. Steel ground. Telios, don't give up, man. Don't give up. We get one more person with a fire type Pokemon or something in here. That'd be great. Hmm. 
All right, I guess we're starting. I'm actually kind of su surprised that Slayer's not around. That's okay. Bro, that's a Gigantamax Cinderace. Holy snap, that thing's cool. It's riding on a giant, like, fireball. Wow, that's cool. That's brutal. Speed fell. Attack rose. Defense rose. We don't need his defense going up at all, man. Big cheese. Quick attack. Max Knuckle. All right, he took out two pieces of shield. I could probably take out one, the last piece here and deal some damage. I avoided the attack. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. All right, so we broke the shield. Defense harshly fell and special defense fell. Max Quake. Oh, he's going to kill me here, isn't he? Yep. Okay, so I'm down. And if he pops a shield here or something, then I could actually cheer on and break the shield. It kind of sucks because his speed falling doesn't actually do anything for us because we're already faster than him like we're all of us are already taking our turns before steelix so him actually reducing his speed does nothing for us powered up the dynamax energy healed some pokemon nice good shot Taxi growing more aggressive. That's cool and all. It's too bad I couldn't cheer on beforehand or something. Or like after he created his new shield. Rocks. Oh, jeez. Rock slide hurts. Okay, that one sucked. Mm, I cannot Dynamax. Hmm, we're in a really rough, rough position here. Hopefully we can withstand this attack. Bro, why me again? What have I done to you? God, Steelix Pokemon just hate me, don't they? They really just... 
don't like me. Pikachu, holy snap, bro. Pikachu's almost dead. Gosh dang. And I'm I'm probably gonna die this turn. So will Pikachu if Whirly or Whirly Toe goes or whatever, then he's got on I Polytoe, Polytoe. Or I don't I don't know which one it is. Poliwhirl. Yeah, Poliwhirl. Okay, if we can land both of these pyro balls. Reversal, nice, good call. Come on, Cinderace, land that pyro ball. Yes, bro, let's go. We got him. Now, again, very, very hesitant about doing this, but just get in the ball. I need you to just stay in the ball and don't come out and just, just, oh, just let me catch you. Just let me catch you. It's one, two, three. Steelix is done. Oh. Oh, after the hassle I've had to try to get a Steelix, ah, I'm so happy he's done. No, no nicknames. Go to a box. You're gonna sit in a box forever, Steelix. I've tricked you. You're never coming out. Ha 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 ha. You will stay here. For, for the rest of your days, Steelix. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's such... That was so stressful. It was so stressful. Now we'll catch the Pokemon we need. <laughs> Got away safely. Nope, don't need that. We're essentially just gonna do encounters here until we find the Pokemon we do need. Which, it'll take a couple tries uh, for sure, but we'll find them. And luckily we have uh, two of these Snover, Snovers here. So that way they're not gonna be super hostile or anything like that. Now the kind of the big thing is like when I find the Pokemon I need, I need to make sure not to kill them. Like this one, that's one of them, Darumaka. Okay, let's just make sure we don't kill the Darumaka. We're just gonna use pluck and hope it doesn't die. Pluck. Don't die. Son of a. Sometimes catching Pokemon doesn't go the way you plan. Sometimes you knock them out with a single hit. With an extremely weak move. I'm I'm very very upset with myself. I got very lucky and found one of the Pokemon I needed, and then I kill it. I killed it right away, and I, I didn't mean to. And that kind of sucks. So now we're just gonna continue, continue out the grind. I hope everyone's enjoying the grind. The grind to find the Pokemon we need. We need Darumaka and we need Stonger. Or Stonejourner. Stonejourner is the other one we need.
<sighs> we're already pretty high level too, so we're 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 pretty good for the finals. glasses get so dirty all the time like truly my like just gets so dirty I don't know if things splash on them or something but like I don't do anything to make it dirty please tell me I did not just hit snow I did dang it I did not want to do that uh, hopefully another Snover spawns, not anything else. I'm getting out the counter. Getting out the counter. Stone Journer. Here we go. There we go. Okay, we got a counter out for Stone Journer. We'll see how many encounters it takes for us to actually find a Stone Journer. That was right. We. Did not get lucky, and we got a Mr. Mime to spawn. <sighs> We're at 10. We're 100% at 10. This is the grind that we go through. Twelve. <sighs> you know, I would, like, I definitely would fight these Pokemon, but I've realized with Sword and Shield, there's almost no point. Like, for example, if I were to kill with this bear tick and it gave me a thousand XP, that'd be like sweet and all, but I'd have to fight 30 of them to maybe get a thousand XP on each of my Pokemon. So each Pokemon will get 30,000 XP, or I could do six five star raids, and the five star raids will actually just give me enough candies to do 30,000 XP for each of my Pokemon, plus more, because I'll get more candies. It's, it's truly, like, not worth it, uh, in the sense of grinding. Like, at the end of the day, it's, I'm just better off just not... Though, I have been working on my Alpha Sapphire playthrough, my new playthrough, because I restarted the game. And, my gosh, how far am I? I am now... I've already got my fifth gym badge? Yeah, I've got my fifth gym badge. I am actually on my way to the sixth gym now. And it's kind of been a struggle, because my Pokemon half the time won't listen to me. I'm playing with my right... And there we go. Oh, 
I wish I didn't exert pressure at the beginning of each battle. That would make this go a lot faster. To be fair, also, like, d playing two games at once would make this go faster. Mr. Mime, don't touch me. <laughs> We're at 17 encounters now. 17 since, or er, without finding a stone journey or the Dur Duramaka. But the Duramaka, I'm actually, I'm fairly certain I can actually catch it elsewhere. And uh, the stone journey, I can't. So we're kind of stuck here doing this until we get Stone Journer. Also come to the conclusion that evolving a Baneri into a Lopunny is the hardest friendship evolution in all of existence. As I've been trying to do that for so long with a Baneri in Alpha Sapphire, and it is not evolving. Like it is not going. Bro, we found a Snom. Uh, to be fair, Snom is actually rarer than everything else we've been finding, so I guess we have to give it some, like, ounce of credit here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Stonejourner! Hey, cool. 21. Problem is now, I don't know what's strong or weak about it or anything like that so i'm just gonna use pluck and hope it doesn't oh i do know and i do know pluck's not very effective against i fought a stone journer before when did i fight a stone journer i don't remember fighting a stone journer I guess we'll keep looking for our Darumaka, and then we'll we'll grab an extra Stone Journer because if we find another Stone Journer, I'll grab a Stone Journer because we still need the Darumaka, who's the same catch rate, uh, or the same encounter rate as the Stone Journer. So again, if we find another one, we'll keep or we'll catch it, keep it, and uh, one of the uh, Slayer was looking for a Stone Journer, so we'll give it to Slayer. If we find one. Otherwise, we'll wait till he's around on stream sometime to, to do the grind and catch it one. Okay. He didn't even wiggle in the Pokeball. Hmm. Stone Journer's buffed by the hail, too. We're going to be kind of restricted on catching this thing here. We're going to need it to get in the ball. Stay. Dude, this thing is this thing is just crabby about about getting caught. I don't want it to fail or to faint. Come on, Rose. Come here. Hi. Come here. There we go. We caught it. What's up, pup? Sweet Corbin Knight leveled up. Cinderace is about to be 70. And we caught ourselves a Stone Journer. It weighs almost 1,200 pounds. Bro, that thing's heavy.
Well, we're back to the back to the grind. Luckily, we've caught everything else we need here, so it really is just these guys left. And I think this is actually like the last area of the game that we actually have to do this in. Other than this, it's just the wild area. So it's just going to be us trying to catch Pokemon in the wild area. Yeah, I know you like Bob so don't you? Hey! Darumaka! Nice. And now I'll know what it's weak against and everything, so I know I'll hopefully know not how to not kill it. Okay, everything I have is effective, 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 effective. Great. Wonderful. I... Wonderful. Let's get out Leaf Blade. Hopefully Leaf Blade won't kill it. That can be our hope. Um, slam is less damage. We're just gonna slam. We're just gonna use slam, and I'm gonna hope it doesn't kill it. Dude, I think the game's trying to tell me don't use slam. I really do. I think the game's trying to tell me just throw a Pokeball. Thing is, is I don't think I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna catch it with a Pokeball, so I I need to use a move. Crap. All right, they're around level 44. Uh, what is Ice Weak against? We're gonna find out because it's a nice type Pokemon. If the defending Pokemon is Ice. Ice is the only thing that's not very effective against Ice. Okay, so let's get an Ice Pokemon. Uh, Corbin Knight. That's fine. Uh, Stone Journer, I thought, went here. So, guys, let me just double check. No, Stone Journer actually goes over by Frostmoth. I didn't even realize that Galele was still over here. Okay. So, Corviknight, we'll get swapped out with Veritic, uh, and we will keep looking for a Darumaka, or Darumaja, whatever, whatever the name is, we'll, we'll keep looking for one. <sighs> 24. Though, in 24 encounters, we have encountered two of them, so it's not, like, the worst thing in the world. Eh, second slime we found. So there's only 23 encounters for us to actually find a stone journer, but if we're counting up till we get, uh, or like we're just counting how many encounters it's going to take us to get all of the Pokemon here that we need, it's going to be a bit. Well, had I not killed the two, the two Pokemon, uh, Darumaka, had I not knocked them out in their encounters, uh, that would be done and we would be like one step closer. Like, we would just only have, like, one stone, jur stone journer left to get, which, as I've stated, if Slayer comes around today, I will definitely catch him a stone journer and we can trade it to him. Uh, for sure. Uh, if not, then it's just something we'll... Oh, there we go. Cool. Got another one. 
But yeah, if he doesn't come around then and we don't encounter another one before we get our two Pokemon that we need, then when he comes around sometime, we will uh, catch it for him. Perfect. Dude, Blizzard is perfect. That was a critical hit, too. Okay. Darumaka getting the Pokeball. And then we just need one more of you. Sweet. Uh, I actually just realized that I wanted... Corviknight on my team in case if I find uh, another Stone Journer. We'll grab Corviknight real quick. It's a good thing I realized that now, not when I encountered one. Uh, Flapple. Just, we'll just swap out Flapple real quick. That's fine. Bear Tick's kind of a cool Pokemon. Uh, I, I don't know if it, he's really my cup of tea, but he is kind of cool. We'll look up a Bear Tick and see. I'm curious what the shiny Bear Tick looks like. Typing without looking at my keyboard. What does the shiny bear tick look like? Because the normal polar bear is white. Is it like, is it like a brown gray? Oh, it's just just a dark or like a darker blue. It's like an aqua white instead of just a white. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Cupcho has a purple face. Okay, well. That's disappointing. I realized that a bear tick was, like, the bear tick Pokemon was based off of, uh, you know, a, a polar bear and all. I almost kind of wish he had, like, uh, I almost wish that he had, like, a pouch like a kangaroo and had, like, a, had, like, a cub show in there. I think, I think that'd be kind of, kind of a cool design, kind of cute. grind that I uh, that I live for and I feel like when the day comes that we start to shiny hunts it's gonna be a true grind like a true true grind I'll be like oh man 4,000 encounters still haven't found one I'm kind of glad that Bear Tick actually outspeeds everyone here, because um, I'm pretty sure that's how that's how running away works. Is you have to like outspeed the Pokemon that you're running away from. Can I? I can just press that button. Wait, I couldn't get away. Oh, what? Oh, but he's just using grain. Okay, so it's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, da, da, da. Well, he just ingrained himself, so he actually can't chase me. Logic rules. 
You are tied to the ground, so I can run away. Actually, our luck now is now that we found like those three Duramakas, we're not gonna find another one for like a hundred encounters. <laughs> Knowing my luck. I can't believe we've been live for three hours. That's insane. We're about to take on the finals and everything. That stupid encounter was trying to get me to run into the Mr. Mime. There's no doubt in my mind. Swing over into a security installation. Oh no. Had a friend of mine place after this, after the stream today. We've actually doubled our encounters. We have we have legit legitly doubled our encounters since the last time we saw a stone journer. Again, it's to be expected. It's you know we, I suspected that stone journer was going to be kind of a hard to find Pokemon. I want to make a new series called Wonder Trade Wednesdays and start up and just upload it every single Wednesday. 
and every Wednesday we will we will wonder trade away six Pokemon and the six Pokemon we get we will use in battle against I don't know if we can fight the the elite four again or not but we'll fight the elite four if we or not the not the elite four sorry but like the finals if we can do the final battles again i'd like to do the final battles with the pokemon that we get and just see if we can do it that sounds like a really crazy dumb idea Hey, 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 we found what we needed. Sweet, okay. Bear attack, do not kill this thing. Just hit it with a blizzard, make sure it stays alive so we can catch it. Sweet. Okay, now we catch it. Darumaka was caught. Sweet. Okay. Do we keep going for the Stone Journer for Slayer? I think so. I think we do. It sounds like a thing we should do. Move with Flapple. So, we're going to keep going to find another Stone Journer. Which shouldn't, in theory, take too long. We, you know, we found one Stone Journer already, and we found four. Duramaka, which are the same encounter rate as Stone Journer. So, in the reality of, of things, we should be able to find one pretty easily. We will use a max potion super quick on Corviknight, and then with the max potion on Corviknight, we should be good. Should be like an encounter rate listing somewhere for Stone Journey, right? I can only imagine. Catch rate is 14%, that's fine. About 10 in the Lake of Outrage, which we're not going to the Lake of Outrage yet, but it's kind of good to know that it, it is there. You know what? This actually reminds me. B U N P. Beniri. What's the ba the base friendship of Beniri is zero? So right from the start, Beniri is just super not like, oh yeah, let's be friends. Beniri is totally like, hey, let's not be friends. I don't like you. That's why it takes Baneri so long to level up. Like, it's such a cute Pokemon, but man, it doesn't like people. That explains why this thing is taking so long to level up. That sucks, man. That sucks a lot. 
You would think that, you know, Baneri would be, like, kinder and more friendly towards Pokemon because it's like, ah, oh, it's a really cute Pokemon. But no. Nope. Baneri absolutely hates any, everyone and ever, anyone. And so getting Baneri to like people is like a no-go. Like a no-go sort of thing. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's, I'm fine. I'm fine if Baneri hates me. I, I can respect that pretty greatly. Like, you know what? Fine, Baneri. You don't like me? I, I never said you had to. You can hate me all you want. I would just keep trying to, uh... Keep trying to make this Baneri like me. It's only been, you know, three days of using this Baneri. Now, okay. In... In the Baneri's defense, there have been a couple times it might have gone knocking out or like knocked out in combat, and so it doesn't like me as much. Okay, I admit it. But even still, I think Baneri should like me and it should be more friendly and should evolve. Evolve into Low Punny so I can stop using it. I love that the random encounters actually have a like really wide hitbox, so that way you can hit them without running into uh, Pokemon that are overlapping them. I think there's only been one time that I really just wouldn't do it because it's a Pokemon standing directly on top of the random encounter spot. But otherwise, for the most part, it's going okay. <sighs> We're at 55 encounters, no Stone Journey. We'll keep trucking along. We will keep trucking along. If anyone else ever asks me for a stone journey, I'm going to have to be like, man, you sure you really want that or need it? I don't think you do. Obama snow? No, run. Got a couple of different things I'm working on right now. It's like people keep kind of coming into the stream and saying, or like checking it out, but then they just leave. And it's like, why don't you guys just, you know, stay a while, listen, socialize? I don't bite, I swear. I am more than happy to just be here and be like, hello, let's just socialize. I think a lot of people think that I, I bite or that I'm not going to be friendly. Like, come on, me, me of all people, I don't, I don't bite. Only if I'm asked to. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Bad joke. I don't even think I, my Pokemon ever really use bite. They use crunch sometimes, but that's far and few between. over i don't need you to run into me i need another encounter <sighs> things i'm doing for slayer man the things i do for my viewers hey can you get me this pokemon and trade it to me yes yes i can is it gonna suck yes it will but i will do it I should decorate my back shelves with more Pokemon stuff. I really should.
Well, let's see. Three common encounters, I would say, if you give them each 20%, like a 20% encounter rate, right? One rare encounter, or like, yeah, one rare encounter being Snom. Say you give it like 10, that's, no, I don't even think, because like, then there's two, two Pokemon that are rare, or two Pokemon that are like, super rare. Uh, so, let's break this down. We have, we have one, two, three, common, maybe they're like 25% a piece, right? Like, yeah, maybe they're like 20, maybe, maybe they're like 25% a piece or something. I, I don't know. I, I guess I don't know. Cause I thought that the almost nevers were like a 10% chance. And then the other one here would be like a 20% chance, but that doesn't add up at all. I found, you know, the snobs aren't right. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know what the encounter chance is for a stone journer, but uh, I think I'm going to have to tell Slayer he has to trade me the, the icicle or the ice cube. Uh, the ice cube. Uh, penguin for the stone journer. I think we're gonna have to do an even even Stevens trades because the rarity that this thing is proving to be is gonna be worth it. I got another Durumaka or Darumaka. This thing has the same rarity as uh, stone journer. Same exact rarity as Stone Drainer. Oh, Pump is running upstairs. I'm playing, I'm rushing through Alpha Sapphire right now. Dude, another Darumaka? This thing's more common than Snom is now. Like, by far. Snob didn't even have an uh, Snob doesn't even have an encounter rate this high. Like actually or like Ugh I have found six Darumakas and one Stone Journer, and they have the same exact encounter rate. I've only found two Snob, and Snob is more common than Darumaka. Like, I'm either just getting extremely lucky with Darumakas, or I'm getting extremely Unlucky with stone journeys. Like whatever it is, it sucks. Also, we're at 69. We're at 69 encounters. Whoever wants a good giggle out of that one, go for it. Swear to God, if we find a stone journey and it's a shiny, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be so mad because I'm gonna have to keep it for myself. And then, ah, there we go. Stone Journey. Stone Journey. We got it. What does a shiny Stone Journey even look like? Let's go find out. Stone Journey. Shiny form. Wait. It doesn't have the... I have to do a thing quick. This totally doesn't have the shiny form of Stone Journey. Let's go to uh, Stone 
stone journer. Wait a minute. A stone journer is just reverse black and white. Like all the, the black just becomes white and the white becomes black. Seriously? Also, it just kind of now clicked in my head that we found a stone. There we go. We have done it. We have caught a second stone journer for Slayer. Slayer, that took 69 encounters to find stone journer. You are welcome, good sir. I hope you enjoy it. Apparently need to turn on the AC in the house. I don't know why. Why do we need to turn on the AC in the house? What? That doesn't make any sense. It's only 76 degrees outside here, and we have all the windows open. So honestly, I think it's okay. I I think it's I think it's prime weather here in the house. Turn on my phone, let that go. All right. Talk to you, heal up the Pokemons. Figured it out. There we go. Another Steelix Rage just popped up. Yeah, no. Nope. Alright, we will set this Stone Journer down here. That is the Stone Journer there for Slayer. So if Slayer comes around today, bro, you can have your Stone Journer. He's all yours. I just ask for the, uh,. The ice penguin Pokemon in return. That's all I'm going to ask for. You know, I'm actually getting a lot of Pokemon here. Like, a lot, a of, lot, a lot of Pokemon that I need to fill in gaps. The only thing that's really stopping me from transferring Pokemon over to Pokemon Home from Pokemon... From Pokemon Bank is, uh... I it, It's kind of just starters. Starters are like my major concern. If I like, let's say I don't evolve like a like a Natu into a Zatu, you know, like I can always get another Natu or get a Zatu to breed with. That's fine. The problem is is starters. A lot of starters aren't available in Sword and Shield. I can't move them over to Sword and Shield, and because of that, it makes it really hard to actually get them. Like right, like if I were if I were to move over like a like a like a a C dot and a Nuzly for whatever, and or like, 
like a shift tree and then i couldn't put it in sword and breed it i could always get another shift tree in one of my games so it's not like it's not like it's the end of the world it's just i need the starters mainly so that's what's really holding me back from transferring everything over as well as like the legendary pokemon a lot of like i know i can get a lot of legendaries in the dlc but there's still a lot of legendaries that i can't so that's kind of what's that's kind of what's holding me back guys from from doing like moving pokemon over and i know i can move them over in batches so i'll probably get all the starters move all those uh keep all the legendaries over and then uh maybe just kind of move stuff from there i see there's a park here with like a little like hedge maze going on i'm kind of curious so we're gonna go we're gonna go do this little hedge maze looks like if we go down down, down here. There we go. I don't know why those tree trunks are so thick that I can't get around, but... Grassy seed. Alright, well, we got a grassy seed. So, up here should be... Yeah, the finals. Or the semifinals, I guess. Whatever it is. All I know is I have to knock some poke or knock some Pokemon out. Pokemon out. Official merchandise here. We have lead cards. We also have lead cards. Yeah. Can I? Can I buy from you? Can I? buy anything no okay i guess i can't actually buy oh hey you're the guy that's been flying me everywhere i appreciate you that's that's nice of him i appreciate that guy um i actually wanted to update if i open this up my profile i was gonna change my picture to this but i'm almost thinking about changing my picture to back to like be like a score buddy should I make it a score bunny? I should make it a score bunny. I like score bunny. All right, here we are. We are at the semifinals. This is kind of cool. Hey, ball guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your favorite guy, the ball guy. I can tell you're following your dreams and that means you guessed it. You have got a pokeball for you. A dream ball. Pokemon that are asleep are easy to catch, but did you ever want it to be even easier? Well, the Dream Ball will make your dreams come true. Have a Pokemon use Hypnosis or Yawn to put that opponent to sleep, and then give it a try. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Ball guy, let me tell you, you are just over the top for me. Marty, this is it. I really made it. I made it through the gym challenge. There might be four remaining in the semifinals, but I'm the one who's going to win... Uh, through and battle the champion. This is the reception desk. Turns out I was the first to register for the champion cup. In other words, I'm already number one. And pr it's pretty much in the bag. Uh, I'm, I'll win this thing. You are so over the top. <laughs> uh, I can't even with you. All right. Hello. Landscape, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but I'll need you to check your er, to check your gym badges, if you don't mind. I'm all sorted. I'm ready to battle you on the big or big stage of them all. But it looks like Bede couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow, I don't think he'd just take uh, being disqualified laying down. You know what I mean? I guess it is what it is. Come on, landscape. We should head to the locker room. Did he check my badges? Attention, gym challengers who have made it through the gym challenges. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch uh, when you're ready. There's no names on there. Can I open it? Only authorized people are allowed to enter. That, it's a vending machine. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Semifinals, guys. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look who I'm fighting. It's you and I, Marnie. Heh. 
I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know that there's been a lot between us. What with or with what with my big brother, Team Yelp, helping, Spike Muth, and all that. But the truth is, when it's all said and done, I really just want to become champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. <laughs> Let's do it. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Marnie. Leopard. Cinderace. Let's go. Ooh. Dynamax time. I've got to win this uh, if I'm going to become the champion. All right. That's fair. Just know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but your Pokemon are kind of underleveled. Leopard fainted. Sorry, Leopard, but I will take the XP and continue making my team even stronger than you. Uh, Surfetch wants to learn Final Gambit. The user risks everything to attack its target. The user faints, but does equal damage, or damage equal to its HP. Ooh. Uh, I don't know, honestly. Uh, no. No, it's not worth it. Yeah, we'll give up on learning. I could always, I could always go get it later, but I just, I don't think it's worth it right now. About to send out Scrafty. Nope, we'll keep our current Pokemon. We're gonna use Bounce. We are going to make this super easy, like a super easy battle. Oh, look at that camera pan! What a good shot of Scrafty. Can you get a shot of my bunny in the air? Toxic Croak. Keep fighting. We should be okay. Uh, fight. Bounce is going to be super effective against Toxic Croak. Uh... Rotom change forms. Okay. I don't know how Rotom works too much, so I'm gonna have to figure that out sometime. works so I'll have to figure it out later fireball here we go well seeing as how I don't I haven't met any other challengers going to the semifinals or anything else I'm guessing I have to fight Marnie and then I'm gonna have to fight Pop and then we'll be in the finals it should just be a fight against Leon I think right Grimmsnarl oh okay I've got everyone's cheer, everyone cheers back in me Really, really gonna need it. Okay. Grimmsnarl. Hey, dude. Are you, uh, are you Dynamax ready? Is that, is that what's gonna happen? Because let me tell you something. I'm also gonna Dynamax, because I get the idea you're going to. So, I'm just gonna Dynamax for a little bit of extra stat boost, overkill, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Or kick you in the face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You think you stand a, gr you stand a chance against me, Grimmsnarl? My bro might not use it, but all Gigantic Impacts my Pokemon if it means I'll win. Oh ho ho! Is that so? I knew it, I called it. Oh, shoot, that's not even, uh, yeah, you Gigantamax, not even Dynamax. Gigantamax, Grimmsnarl. All right, let's go. Well, Grimmsnarl, I'm gonna just be honest with you, that didn't go as planned, did it? gained I'm happy about that and uh, Marnie it looks like you've been defeated I'm sorry what do you have to say for yourself Marnie okay so I lost but I got to see a lot of good points you or a lot of good points of you and your Pokemon You did lose, but that's okay, because you tried your best, and you actually made it to the semifinals. That was pretty cool. Only four people did. Everyone in the stadium was watching us during all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. I think I'll join my brother in the stands, and we'll watch from the silence to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. <laughs> wow. Rude. <laughs> I beat you, and you're just like, ah, oh, yeah, I don't even know if I can cheer for you or not. Hop, what's up, dude? You're super over dramatic. I'll be waiting for you in the final match. Oh, you won your match. After seeing the way you battled, I can't accept any outcome besides winning this match. Oh, you're about to take on. My team is on fire. I see. So Hop is pretty adamant he's going to win this match that he's, he's about to do. Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite ha or quite handily, so as soon as you're ready, we'd like to go back out on the pitch. Okay. Landscape and Hop. I I, I didn't want to talk to you again. What? Why did you? Okay. Um, Pokemon. Cinderace. Check summary. Are are your moves? Nope. You got fully healed. Cool. All right. Here we go. This is the last time, Hop. I'm going to put you in your place. I'm going to take you down. I'm going to teach you what it means to, to be a true po Pokemon trainer. You want to fight your brother, but you have to fight your rival. Understand, you have never to this day beat your rival. I just had this sort of flashback, you know? Remember... Back, or back when we were still in Postwick and we got our Pokemon from Lee that day, I never would have dreamed that I'd end up here or standing here facing you of all people. But it's time I finished what I started that day. Got it? The one who will become champion is me. Hop, you have never won a battle against me. But you are feeling pretty adamant, I guess, so I, I will give it to you. If you think you're going to win this, let's do it. Double. Still using, still using double, huh? The only uh, we battle back in the garden, but I'm ready, really fired up about this, or I'm really, really fired about up, up, about this match in the stadium. Here's the thing, though: like the only Pokemon I'm really concerned about is this Snorlax. Because this Snorlax just stunned me like up the wazoo last time. And I didn't like that. And it really irritated me. So when Snorlax comes out, I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to kill it. Nope. You're sending out Snorlax, dude. That's cool. Dynamax. Kill. Right away. Your Snorlax does not outspeed me. By any means. So I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill your Snorlax. And just make sure we don't have any problems here. Ah.
Yeah, I know. I'm probably gonna Dynamax for your last Pokemon too. It's cool. Okay, kill Snorlax. I know the thing's a tank, but kill it. No, we didn't kill it. We did not kill it. Do not get stunned or paralyzed by, by a body slam. High horsepower. Cool. How's that? I learned a lot by studying Lee's old matches. You learned how to use high horsepower? I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. I still use Max Flare. Alright, your Snorlax is gone, bro. You cannot stun me again. You cannot do the whole stun lock thing that you did last time. No, we will keep our current Pokemon. Pinchurchin. Okay, we'll take that thing out. We should have two Pokemon left. Now we still have the whole arc with uh, with Chairman Rose and all that other stuff going on. So I know the finals are probably going to get interrupted and everything, but still, I'm just like, I'm glad that I'm finally taking Hop down. I'm finally putting him in his place. I knew you'd be aiming for a super effective hit. I've literally been hitting you with super effective hits since day one, bro. I've literally been taking you down. Type advantage, all that. Yeah, you even said it like from day one. You're like. What? How do you know about type advantage? Bro, I've been slapping you with type advantage since day one. I have six Pokemon. You can't think you got me back in the corner? No way. This is just to make my victory even better. Like, which is even better. I don't, I don't read the rest of it. Here's the thing, bro. You, you haven't even taken out one of my Pokemon. One. Okay? Or at least all of the thoughts poured into my wishing star. Time for a Dynamax. You throw the ball really weird, dude. I thought you'd been practicing how to throw the ball, but you threw it really weird. Rillaboom. All right. Even with your Pokemon Dynamax, you can't handle this. I just want you to know that, Hop. You can't even take down one of my Pokemon, even using Dynamax. Sucks, dude. That's how it feels, Hop. That's how it feels. You didn't even... You didn't even get to the rest of my team. You didn't even you didn't even feel the pain of the rest of my team. There it is, Hop. You lost. You lost. You finally lost. Landscape. Thanks, mate. I'm really glad that you were the one here with me. I mean, I suppose like take take the loss. And the victor of the semifinals, the challenger who has won their way through all of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is Challenger Landscape. Oh, what? You know, even when Sonia or you know, even when Sonia was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, I really never felt like one. But you may I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Landscape. And Cinderace and all the rest of your team. Yeah, because you didn't see the rest of my team. You don't even know what other Pokemon I had, bro. Let's go. Landscape. That was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that the two of you set out together from the same town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. That burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion. It was battling uh, at its very purest in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first. That was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've gotten in us to defeat our challenger. And the challenger standing before us might well end up being you, Landscape. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. That's right, Landscape. The real challenge is what's coming next. I'm completely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best to refill your energy store or your energy stores first. 
Why don't we get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but you never care at all for, or you never care at all what food tastes like, Lee. A night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaway, so at least pick something good. We did it, guys. This is a pretty nice hotel. I'd stay somewhere like that. That looks pretty cool. Challenger Landscape. Hey, Challenger Landscape. Could you, or got some time for some questions? First question. You and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in a sense. Wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? Uh, it doesn't quite feel real yet. Right. Question number two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? He's standing next to me. He was just the rival I knew he was. Question three. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too? I absolutely do. All right, that's enough. Landscape already, Landscape's already tired from battle. And you've been asking rather rude questions. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brother. So sorry, but clear off already, would you? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. Phew, famous people sure have it rough, eh? <laughs> I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. Several hours later. This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised, he'd, uh, he promised me that he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. Kid sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know. Oh, Pack appears. I'm seriously worried here. So I don't need to see your smug mug looking like you, you're you having a go at me. Even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost to your mate. If you were looking for the champion, I saw him heading to Rose Tower. Why would he be going up there? Don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late to your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could he have, or have to do there at this hour? Piers, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither the landscape nor I know the way. Sheesh, what rude siblings. Always so demanding of each or of others. Though I suppose it's a real problem for me, too. If the finals are held up for any reason, I doubt really, or I don't really hate the two of you little runs. And I don't really hate the two of you little runs. You were good enough to beat me, after all. So I think I'll invite Team Yell along, and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant, you're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. I, why are we going to go make a ruckus? We're just going to go find out what's going on, bro. We don't need to make a ruckus. Even Lance be over here like, bro, what? what, what? Man. Why am, am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from the battle with you, Landscape. We decided that Team Yell will cheer you on, Landscape. Let's help out together. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Miss Alina? Sherman Rose is with a champion in a very, very important meeting. There's no way I will let anyone interfere. Interfere. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does, uh, does enjoy these kind of menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I chose? Do you think you can find me? What should we do? Shh. This isn't good, but I got this one. Landscape. Team Yell's yelling with, or we'll handle this. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. What? Okay. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's all work together and head for Rose Tower. I'm confused. Why is Rose Tower all of a sudden like super heavily guarded? 
What is up with this? Let's find Erlina's league staff member. Uh, that bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? I believe so. It's not you. It's not you. Is there a league staff member over here? It's not you. I'm so confused. You know what? I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk to them all. I'm just gonna challenge them all to a battle or something. There are some league staff that have gone and started up a fan club dedicated to Miss Alina. That's kind of weird. It's finally time for the Champion Cup. Being super busy makes you want it to slack off, doesn't it? We're crazy busy because of the champion, yet I can't get to Rose Tower. Some league staff aren't doing their jobs. Okay, so it's not just, so it's like, uh, it's a couple people that are, it's a couple people that are causing problems here. You. So there are good league staff members and then there are bad league staff members. The only difference is the bad one is wearing sunglasses. Why even bother uh, with looking for the difference? Are there bad league staff members up here? I thought Hop was going over here. Hey, Hop. Where'd they go? Yeah, dude, seriously, where did they go? I'm so confused. Are they hiding out in, like, the park? Can I go down up here? I can. Uh, looking for bad big staff members. There have got to be some around here somewhere. Max revive. Wait a minute. Right here. Kalanska, this bloke's awfully sh er, shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so he'll that he'll have no choice but to look this way. Mr. Lane's here. What? Ooh, a Ferris wheel. Yeah, hey, what's up, Shadow? Last that turn around, and I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. Ah, uh, we found the evil one. Haha. -ha. By Marco Cosmos Eric. Okay, so there are bad staff members we have to fight now. We're fighting staff members. Yeah, Shadow, how you doing? I'm uh, I'm doing pretty well myself. gross that was about that was the last of my coffee and i poured that coffee like four hours ago that was gross durant uh we against fire and a bug it's super this is gonna be take a lot my cheers will really get you going nothing really it's working on homework nice I actually, uh, actually, for the first time, like all summer, all summer, I started getting homework done ahead of time. So I got all my homework that was due tomorrow done yesterday. So now I can start working on my stuff that's due next week. Don't suddenly, suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turned around. Ugh, girl, you made me turn around and you defeat me in battle. Here's $10,000. Uh, all I need to do is hide and I won't have to give you the key.
Oh, fudge. Where did he go? Right here. How did you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you meet? Bah, whatever. I'll defeat you this time. That was pretty simple. He actually only moved, like, a minor distance. Ugh. You, oh God. Yeah, I know, right? I, I should probably finish it sooner in the stream rather than four hours in. Once in a race, I know you can do it. Dude, are all of his Pokemon just going to be weak to fire? Like, actually? Yeah, summer courses are almost done, and I can't wait for it. Cannot wait. Feel that flow. Yeah, you feeling it, landscape? Are you feeling it, landscape? Let's go. You're giving me stat boost to, against this guy's Pokemon, but there's literally a Pokemon that's so like, I can heal in between battles. I only have to fight two Pokemon. And they're all super weak against me. So, kind of easy. Like, really kind of easy. They say hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in a crowd. Okay, he's running off this way. Oh, man. I wonder where he went. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. What you doing in there? You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. Pharaoh seed. Oh. Guess what else is... Is his whole team steel type? Dude, he... They're all weak against me. Like, come on. What are you doing, bro? Alright, what other steel Pokemon you got? A Steelix? Oh, bro. Bro, I've been taking it easy on you. But you bring out my arch nemesis Pokemon? You're the best, Marnie. All right, you gonna you gonna bring out a Steel type Pokemon? Uh, that's my that's my Arch Nemesis, the Steelix. Here you go, bro. There you go. Yep, take that take that rock to the face. Even help Cinderace save or level up. I appreciate that. This guy's giving me almost like twenty eight grand. Seems like you've got me c cornered, but I'm not going to give up. An earful from Miss Orlean is, w is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner the league staff member at the station together. Let's go. All right, there's four of you. And there's four of us. You did a cracking job of cornering that bad league staff member landscape. Let me sing you a song uh, fitting of your rocking deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Maybe I can cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy, but I can't help. But still, the only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. Piers! Go, Piers! Hey, isn't that Piers? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Level 6 I goon started dancing. Oh, all these people came running down. Oh, okay, I see, I see. We got the key, Piers. Oh, uh, we can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. Landscape, hop. Now's your chance. Go. Get out of here. Marnie's coming with me. All right, come on, Marnie. We're take. We're going to Rose Tower. We're gonna figure out what's going on. So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Team Yellow is going to have their hands full holding up those bad league staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Landscape, what should we do? Let's go ahead. Good thinking. Let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Landscape, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you got to do is charge on ahead. An employee is an employee, I guess. Seems that executive lady hid her, the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion ho holed up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Oh, hey, Piers. Times like this, uh, when tension and passion run high, remind me of Spike Moth in the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going. I'll send you some support your way with, with a yell. Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Okay, let's go, Landscape. All right, let's go. Let's go. Up Rose Tower. Run. Run. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, Hop. I'm going. I'm going, Hop. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've said these guys are evil since day one. I meant it. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? I like the roses underneath. Listen, landscape. Don't know if you knew this or, or, or they knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can or west or less Jesus. But less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Alina says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. Mmm. 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 You know what? I don't like you. I think... You are uh, evil. I've said this since day one. I think I think uh, Rose and Orlina are evil, and I'm sticking to it. If you guys are just gonna use steel Pokemon, you're really gonna give me an easy time. I kid you not. You should probably use something other than steel Pokemon. All right, Elijah, you're done. Get out of the way. Having to give my or give up my pocket money, losing means I'm black or back in the red. <laughs> you didn't have to give a kid 10 grand for beating you. M my bonus, my dream of finally affording a house of my own. We need to speak to with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Go on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. Let's go. Rose. Oh, it does say Rose. Oh, okay. There's a really weird lettering. There's like a hundred floors, and each floor has like different rooms. Or has different like... God, it's gotta be a, it's gotta be a hexagon. Each floor has like six elevators, or six different elevators that you can get on at. Yeah, I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere with our work. We will drive you out to protect the, the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the glorious high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed to be subsidiary macro cosmos construction. Okay. 
All right, you just gave me a whole explanation about how we can have a Pokemon battle on an elevator. You also just sent out Pokemon that weigh almost like two tons. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna flame charge both of you if I'm being honest. <laughs> they're they're using steel Pokemon, man. It's also good to know that there are good league members, and then the, there are bad league members. So it's just it's good to know that there's both. You burrowed yourself underground. And that's not that cool. So I'm just gonna do this so I don't get hit. Yep, that avoided the attack. You used dig, I avoided the attack. Now we use bounce. Sorry, fans. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't care about your your lift. It's fine. If I have been defeated, I have little choice but a uh, respect or a respectful retreat. Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevator to Rose Tower are constructed so that only the or that only the floor ascends, but the presence that presents some danger. Thus, the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macrocosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Okay, wait. So the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves regularly for us. Let me heal them all up. Oh, okay. Yeah, enjoy the show. We're just riding an elevator. There's supposedly 100 floors. Like, this is... We're getting stopped like at like this is like 415 or something. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are about 500 feet above the. Oh, okay, we're halfway up. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy, bro? They just employed different people from different companies to be members here of Marco Cosmos or whatever it is. I don't even know. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't Mawile a Steel-type Pokemon? I think Mawile is a Steel-type Pokemon. That's that's lame. Ah, uh, we all work in a in a metal tower, so we all have to use Steel-type Pokemon. <laughs> we'll get rid of Mawile first. I don't think Clang has anything really effective or like that could really hurt us down the long run. Oh, and he got paralyzed? Dude. Oh, he's paralyzed. He can't even do anything this turn. Nah, that sucks, Clang. Sorry about that, man. But you live and you learn, huh? Don't get paralyzed. All right. Well, thanks, MC Insurance. Uh, Macrocosmo Insurance. Appreciate it. Did she just say it took over 100 Machoke to build this? Her insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Oh, that's too bad. Healing up. This game certainly hands out a lot of heals, like in random places. Okay, it's probably our last battle, if I'm guessing, because it's going like, like 25 floors every time. You're going to to the top, but you won't be meeting with the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for the lofty macrocosmos air. You guys, you guys work for... Uh, you guys are so annoying. Mmm. Mmm. 
my arch rival. I have a special move for you. Pyro ball. Dude, he paralyzed it again. Gosh dang. Oh, muddy water. That kind of hurts. No joke. Yep, uh, muddy water will definitely be kind of painful. Alright, Stunfisk is gone. That was hopefully the last battle. Toxtricity got to 64. 20,000 dollars, dude, I'm making bank going up here. German roses at the top of the top, or top of the top, not just of this tower, but of all of Galar. Yeah, but again, Rose is evil. Looks like we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp, let's do this. Like, I'm telling you, Rose has got to be evil. This doesn't look like an office. Hey, welcome to the Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So, you got through all of the special staff that I have ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less from the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I am afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. You shall be the first, Landscape. If I beat you to pieces, then the Champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the Chairman says. You are crazy, dude. You're crazy. And evil. You're crazy and evil. You have five poke. I, I'm just gonna flame charge you. It's a frost last. It's gonna die to fire. My, how'd she get to do such a thing to hurt uh, my Pokemon? Ouch. Milo tick. Uh, switch. Flappy. Milo tick is a water type Pokemon. Use Grab Apple. Dude, my Lotec is beautiful as hell in this game. Gosh dang. Maybe it's also the lighting. Maybe it's the lighting from the stage, but I just like that that was a really good, good looking Milotic. Flappy also has a glow to him, so maybe uh, I didn't see which Pokemon it was. Uh Switch. Uh Barascuta has speed, so he can outspeed anything. We'll just switch to Bar Bar Barascuta. Barascuta. Hi, Pup. Rosebud. Rose. Salazzle. Oh, dude. Good switch. Liquidation. Salazzle is a fire type. Salazzle is gone. Good on you, Salazzle. Uh, grass type Pokemon. Serene or something, or Serena or some, something like that. Serena, yeah. Uh, Flame Charge, take you down.
then what do you got next garboder poison pokemon uh shoot you know i'm just gonna hit it really hard i'm just this is my last pokemon seriously arlena's gotta finish this I'm just gonna hit it as hard as I humanly can. Or like as hard as possible. Apparently we can Dynamax up here, so I'm gonna Dynamax, bro. I think Poison is actually weak to Psychic. Right? Poison. Poison. I think I'll treat you just something truly spectacular. A Gigantamax? You're gonna Gigantamax a Garbodor? Poison is weak to ground, psychic, grass, fighting, poison, bug, rock, dark. Okay. Fairy. Okay, so a lot. I should have taken like Flappy or something like that. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so Garbodor as a Gigantamax is really cool looking. He's also, uh, he's really weak to really powerful moves. <laughs> Gigantamax Garboder fail, or er, fainted. We defeated Alina. She's gonna be pissed. I wasn't able to win. Really, no, you really are a hopeless woman. Wow, dude, way to, way to take that really far. Oh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be a no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all of the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do you, or do as you wish. There's nothing more, uh, to be done now. What? What do you mean all the wishing stores have been collected? Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. What is the chairman doing? Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already. And still you fail to understand what's at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from now. Or from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't uh, this, this madness. It's to carry out the championship match. That's what Galar wants and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The, uh, the people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years... I think Leon's right. There's a thousand years here, bro. Like, there's a thousand years to fix this issue. You don't have to fix an issue today that's a thousand years away. Fine. Look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give my word I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Lee, you never showed when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Pierre's and Marnie and all of Team Male Oddballs, they all helped us uh, out to get out here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worried at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to, or to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, landscape. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose, and I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one of uh, one for the history books. Uh oh, Rose, 
Rose is going to do something like evil. And I keep saying Rose and that's my dog's name. My dog keeps coming over here like what? One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We, no, I am going to change the course of history. Rose is evil. It's not you, Puffer. You're cute and you're good and you're wonderful. Yes, you are. You're so sweet and cute and wonderful. The next evening. Here we go. We're doing it. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had butterfree in my or yeah, butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. That's funny. That's a funny expression. Challenger landscape. The finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need any or if you need another helping or helping of Hop and his truly and his trusty Rillaboom, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. It's not like uh, those other league staff. I'm a good one, if I must say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Olina can be a little extreme with her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff uh, in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle, or yeah, the debacle last night. Debacle, there we go. There we go. Uh, but you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we trust her then. Yeah, landscape? Let's go. I can't wait another minute. It's happening, guys. Would you like me to show you the way to the stadium? Yes, please. It's happening. It's happening. We're doing the finals. Yay. I'm, I'm a little excited. I'm a little excited. We've been working towards this. This is like taking on the Elite Four and stuff. Uh, this is really exciting. Let's take our bag and uh, just go through some stuff real quick. We got the candies there we're going to use real fast. Dude, I have so many TMs and HMs. So many new ones. Gosh, I did not realize I got this many TMs and HMs. Uh, sort? By number. Nice. Okay. Got some pearls and such. Rotom bike. Okay, candies. We have an extra large candy. I'm going to use on. Barascuta. I would like to get Barascuta up a little bit. And I have two large candies I want to use uh, on Corviknight. Get him up a little bit, too. Surfesh and Truxicity Trux are going to be kind of like my back pedals. But really, I think we should be able to do this with Cinderace, Corviknight, Flapple, and Baroskuda. But you never know. Slayer. So, I F up. Dude, how'd you F up? Also, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, we are... We are doing it. <laughs> Oh, landscape. Oh, please don't tell me you just pulled me into the battle. No, don't. I, I had to show Slayer something. This is it. Here at Windom Stadium, the greatest stadium of all of Galar. You're going to show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. Don't pull me in yet. So get yourself checked in. Slayer, I have to show you something. I, I, did, I did a thing for you. I got Stonger, and I got you a... St uh, a stone or a stone a stone journer. I got a stone journer and I got you a stone journer as well. So, if you want to give me one of those uh, icicle penguins or whatever, or a cursula, a cur I would also take a cursula because I don't have one. Uh, either way, uh, I have a stone journer for you when you are ready. Just let me know, man. All right, here we go. Let's do it. We're ready. We're ready. Uh, Pokeball guy. Uh, I should... I should go buy some stuff first before this. I... Hi, um, yeah. The guy put Nitro in his Discord for this guy, and I accidentally got the Nitro. Wait, what? This guy put Nitro in his Discord for this guy. And I accidentally got the Nitro. 
Oh, so you accidentally took Nitro from someone else? Is that what you're trying to say? I thought... I'm pretty sure... Because, like, I've had someone use Nitro on my Discord before. And I'm pretty sure it was just, like, uh... I'm pretty sure it just assigns the Nitro to the Discord server, not to the person. But, I mean, it's possible maybe assigns it to the person. Bro, I don't need 92 of these things. Uh, 20 would be fine. And I know we're going to use Ultra Balls at some point in the future here. So, we might as well just buy a whole bunch of Ultra Balls. Uh, worst case scenario, I'm, I need a couple revives, so we'll grab 10 more. So long story short, I need to buy a $20 Google Play card. What? Dude, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me level with you for a second. If someone buys Nitro for a Discord server, you, you buy Nitro for the server. You don't buy Nitro for the person. So if someone bought, yeah, like I'm looking right here. Uh, Discord Nitro. 30% off server boost, include two nitro boosts, unlock a level one. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense why you would ever have to... Because, it, yeah, there's like a distinct difference between gifting a person nitro. I don't even think you can gift other people nitro. Yeah, I'm looking right now, man. Like, I don't know what this, what, what they're talking about, cause, yeah, it's my, or, yeah, it's my fault. Uh, it's my responsibility. Yeah, you can't. What? Okay, hold up. I'm just, I guess, I'm just trying to understand here, right? So just explain to me. So someone else bought Nitro for someone's Discord server, but instead of putting it in, like, buying it for the server. He put it in the main chat, though. Hold up, I'm gonna do some googling for you real quick, man, because I don't, I don't want someone giving you a hard time if, like, this doesn't seem right. Uh, Discord Nitro in chat. I'm reading on it here. Uh, uh, Wait, did he put like a card or something in chat? Oh, I'm just, I'm just reading. I'm just reading. The owner bought Nitro for his admin in the main chat. It popped up while I was typing and leg pressed accept I see what you're saying. It's a gift link. I see. You you take it and you post it and then it's like, oh hey, here, so or yeah, but it it specifically states here, I'll I'll pay, I'll post this like in here, because it specifically Um That's what it states in like the Discord help for it. And it says super important to know that once you share this link with another user that user will be able to claim the gift of or, or claim the gift of nitro. Be careful not to share this link with someone you do not wish to make this claim. It's kind of on them, dude. Like Discord has private messages and everything else. The dude could have just private messaged the nitro to the other guy. If he put it in the server, that really is his own fault. 
don't get me wrong i see i see where you're coming from and it's like you know that feeling of feeling responsible for it but at the same time dude posted it in a public server that anyone could grab it from he should have just private messaged him also if if the other dude's like one of his admins or mods or whatever he should have private messaged it like that's that's just an obvious thing it's you you should never post a, a private link in a public server that's you're you're that's a mistake yourself But yeah, like what? Are they telling you like if you don't if you don't pay it back, they're gonna kick you from the server? Like what are they gonna do? They they can't do anything if you don't pay it back except for kick you from the server and just not talk to you again. Um, I mean, if you feel really bad and these are some close friends of yours, hundred percent pay them back. If that, why what? If that makes you if that's if that will help make you feel better about the whole situation, for sure, man, do it. But i'm gonna be honest if it was me and i i bought the nitro for someone and someone else ended up clicking it on it and they told me look you should have sent in a private message i it was an accident and i clicked it sorry but i'm not gonna I, I would and they said i'm not gonna pay you back for it because you should have private messaged it or sent in a private message i guess i couldn't be mad it's my own fault yeah i like Definitely, dude. If you feel guilty about it and you want to pay someone back, you can. But otherwise, it's just it's just the kind of the reality of it. You never actually have. Oh, there are actually some nice moves in here. Uh, you never like it's it's on both parties here. Your thing lagged and it and it clicked it. His thing or he sent it in a public chat. Yours was an accident. His was on purpose. Just how I would take it. There are people that I liked, but I don't think I have enough money to explain it to them that way. Like do like explain to them. I don't have enough money to pay it back. Like someday when I can, I will, but I, I don't have enough right now. And I'm sorry. Nothing, you know, if that's, if that's the reality of it, man, that's the reality of it. Oh, Solar Blade seems kind of cool. Thunder Punch seems kind of... I There's actually a lot of moves here that I kind of like. I'm going to buy Thunder Punch. And... Drain Punch. Because I think that this will actually make Farfetch'd and toxi, toxi, Toxtricity. That's what it was. Better. Now the I said I'll walk to the store tomorrow to buy the card. It should be all good because I was looking at my money. Okay. I I wish I had some better advice for you, man. I really do. I, you know. I really do. Oh, because I was looking at my money, and then I don't have enough. Oh, so you said you would go to the store tomorrow to get a card. Oh. The only thing, the only one that can... Wait, Sir Fetch can't learn a fighting move? Are you serious? Bro, that's dumb. Okay, wait, wait, whatever. I just wasted 50000 <laughs> I'm a little salty now. Uh, No, for sure. You do what you gotta do, man, but definitely don't, uh, don't put yourself in a really bad situation, because because of an accident for sure and uh, and if there are people that like care about you genuinely they should under they should be understanding about that i got you a sir fetch you got me a sir fetched okay well i appreciate it man since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals and they won't be holding back whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to fight or to challenge the champion so are you ready to go to the locker room now? Yep, let's go. Let's do it. I've got probably, what, four battles? It's going to be like, uh... Oh, geez. All the gym chat or all the gym leaders are here. I think you want it for the battle. Oh, too late. I'm in. <laughs> too late. I'd say I aim to win this thing. And I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spike Month reclaim their pride and to, to see them smile once again. 
So all of them are bound. Come on, time to see. This will be a different sort of battle than you faced in the gym challenge. Those are basically test matches, but this is a serious battle. So this is this is a battle for all of the gym leaders to get a chance to fight the uh, to fight the uh, the challenge or the, the champion. Okay, so you can fight the or you can fight the champion outside of this. Uh, oh, I can still. Oh, I just pressed the button. <laughs> I'm sorry. I read, I read that a second too late. <laughs> uh, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, we've been live for four hours and forty minutes. Champion Leon. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galler. I am your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope to know my minds. In order to lead you all to greater heights as Pokemon trainers of the Galler region, the time has come for you to battle it out until the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the final matches begin. Wait, what? I mean, if I can go back between, I will. Twitch suction. Oh yeah, dude. I've been alive for four hours. I've been live since this morning. I've been live for four hours. That's how. That's why we're this far so far. Wait, you? Oh my gosh, this beta. Who's that? A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I am Beta, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Beta, he's the challenger endorsed by the Chairman Rose himself. I have a square to settle with the challenger landscape here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events. Former challenger Bede has come for one last battle. We are currently deba er, debating what to do with challenger Bede. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something, do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Olina who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy-type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dazzling, or dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy-type Pokemon every day. And here I am, pouring my heart out to you when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The challenge, or the champion himself, has accepted Beatty's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is this a trial for challenger landscape? My will hasn't been broken yet. Uh-oh. 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 Let's go, Beatty. You are challenged by gym leader Beatty. All right, well, Mawile was a really poor choice of a start, if I'm being honest with you, Bede. I'm just being honest. All right. We face too much to quit now. All right. Mawile's Intimidate. Mawile. We're just gonna, we're just gonna flame charge you. Bede, I don't think, I don't think I, what? Whoa, hold up. What do you mean? What do you mean you have a sliver left? Hi, Rosebud. Hi, Rosebud. Made the rest of the best Rillabloom. Nice. Okay, that's better. I was like, what do you mean he survived that hit? This is like the Elite Four, essentially. Uh, keep current Pokemon. Flame Charge, that's fine. Wish. Okay, weird. Bayday really changed up his team. It's all fairy type Pokemon now.
Rapidash. Uh, nope. Also a fairy type. What is fairy type weak to? Not dragon. I don't know. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep going. We're just we'll just keep going with Cinderace. Bro, that rapid dash is majestic. It is really majestic. Fire, steel, and poison type. Oh, okay. Neat. Psycho cut. Okay. I just won't let Cinderace get defeated. It's cool. Hatterini. What's with the calm expression? Think you're going to win? Fadia seems a little light, more, more light-hearted now. This is your last Pokemon, so Dynamax, Max Flare. Oh, I'm saving the Dynamaxing until uh, until the end, like when I have to. We'll show you a truly great team. Oh, Hatterino to Gigantamax. Okay. Gigantamax Hatterino. Or Hatterini. Hatterino? Hatterini. Something. One of the two. I don't know all the new names yet. Bro. Hatterini. Hatterini. Well, I'm using Max Flare. How are you going to handle that? Pretty well, I'd say. I'd say you handled it pretty well. Dude, I don't think the opponents I have to face are too strong either. They, they haven't even taken down Cinderace yet. Like, they truly haven't. I, I'm still rocking one Pokemon against all of them. So... Yeah, no. I think, uh, I think I'm, I'm in good hands here. Like, I think this is going to be an easy, easy time. I guess it also kind of depends on what gyms I have to go up against because there's like one gym I had a hard time with. It was the ground the ground gym, I think. No, not the ground gym. The no, the ground gym. Yeah, I had I had, I had kind of a struggle against the ground gym. Come on, let me check them. Okay. Sorry, I was just checking my dog because I heard my dog like sniffing out, out in the living room. I was like, what are you doing? I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. Oh, so you just learned that you really like fairy types. That's nice. Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Beta was no match for Challenger Landscape and his trusted team. Onions. Hey, Beta, that was some match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But, but this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. <laughs> you just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though, I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. Steam is spelled with voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Landscape, please head back to your locker room so you can rest up from the unexpected match. Okay. Resting up. Uh, are my Pokemon rested or do I have to... They are rested. Okay. Well, let's... Uh, we won the first match. I'll just save real quick. trade you here we can trade the the stone journal real quick for uh for the penguin the the uh, ice cube penguin if you have one here i sent out the request to trade see there it is it popped up time for a trade 
Yeah, because I want to get you this stone journer. Trade part of Shiggle. Wait, what? No, I don't want to... What? No, I don't want to trade with Shiggle. Yeah, that's not me. I, I, I realize that. Can I... Link code, dude. Set link code. Oh, okay. Uh, all ones. Oh, I just used all ones. <laughs> a partner, or you found a partner to trade with. Okay. Pippi Pro? What? Who just... What? Well, that's not you. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll use your code. We'll use your code. What? I don't know how someone... I guess that's probably just a common code. Okay, there. New code. We have used a new code. I'm gonna fight this fight this bag. We're gonna fight this bag. Alright, if this pops up again, I'm assuming it's you. Shadow. Boom. So trading sucks. There. Do you have the ice cube penguin for me, sir? Or 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 Cursola. Cursola works too. Ugh. Ugh. What a shiny f fetched. Hmm. 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 No. No, 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 no. Trade me, trade me the penguin or trade me a, a cursola. No, 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 no. I want you to keep the. I want you to keep the, the shiny sir fetched. I want you to keep it. And remember that is Sir Landscape from now on. Your shiny sir fetch will be known as Sir Landscape. Actually, real note. Uh, that has always been a dream of mine is to get knighted, but I don't think that'll ever probably happen in my lifetime. I have three more. No, no, no. It's fine, dude. It's fine because trust me. One of these days, we will we will get to shiny hunting. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't, I don't want to take your shiny and then feel bad that I, that I like don't use it or I don't keep it. Or I'm like, someday I'm like, Oh, I need to get my own shiny. Like I, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to feel bad. No, it's not. What? <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I will take it. I will take it. Fine. I will, I will take your, Oh, Oh, Hey, yeah. Trade. Woo. Penguin. What? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, Oh, I, oh. <laughs> I, I thought. <laughs> I thought my system had an error. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought I for a hot second truly thought my system just had an error and crashed or something oh my gosh dude you have no idea i i was freaking out for a second that was so bad that was so bad i was I was so concerned. You have no idea. No, 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 no. Uh, yes, we can quit the Pokemon trade because I, I actually don't have any other Pokemon to trade right now. I, I don't have any extra Pokemon is kind of the other thing. So, dude, why, why quit the trade? Again, I don't have any extra, I don't have any extra Pokemon to trade right now. Uh, wait a minute. This guy sat here. None of these are extras, though. These are all Pokemon I need. <laughs> They're all Pokemon that I, I have caught and or, or and set aside for, for ah, uh, you know, it's fine, it's fine. We can we can trade something. We'll we'll go catch another. Uh, 
Uh... You know what? Whatever. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll trade some other time. We'll trade some other time. You can't mug me into taking your shiny. You can't mug me into taking your shiny. <laughs> okay. I appreciate Like, trust me, though. I really do appreciate it. And I, I appreciate, uh, you know, I appreciate you offering me a shiny far-fetched. Like, it means a lot. I, I really do appreciate it, man. The time for waiting is over. The final, uh, the finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are a trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger, Challenger Landscape. What? His opponent oh, is, oh, hey, hello, the Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. I can tell you've grown far, or grown far since, or stronger since you faced me in Hoberry Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the, er, but you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. It's not going, or I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. Bruh, I know, right? I'm mugging you into taking my shiny, my shiny perfect. Hmm, had I known it was Nessa, Galissapod. Oh, wait a minute. She was looking kind of down. I know, right? I'm just saying, like... Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm not going to wash your team away. Wait, but I, but I... But I am going to wash your team away? What? What are you talking about? Whatever, just bounce. Just bounce on Galissapod. <laughs> Stop questioning everything. Just, just, just defeat her. I think she loves you. I, I think so, too, dude. Sword Dance, dude. You're setting stuff up. You're setting yourself up. It's too bad you didn't look up and prepare for that. You should have raised your defense. Oh, no. <gasps> Paralyze. Emergency exit. Barascuta. Barascuta, okay. Two can play at this game, miss. Two can play at this game. Come on, Cinderace. We're not gonna. We're not just gonna sit back and let a water type gym leader just uh, try to take you on. We're gonna make her work for it. Liquidation. Oh, grass type. Hmm. Oh, look, you didn't do anything. Hey, do you like apples? Ice Fang. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I am a dragon type though. I got I gotta hand her that one. Oh boy, I think she outspeeds me with the Barascuta. That explains that. Nope, keep current Pokemon. I hope I outspeed a Sea King. I probably don't. This might hurt. Yes, I do. Thank gosh. Grab Apple. We're just gonna, I guess you could say we're just gonna crush her entire team. Hmm, yeah, it's quiet. And <laughs> she might be a predator. <laughs> it's possible. Galissapod. Uh yes, and I'm going to switch to Cinderace to just outspeed him real quick. Hey, Galissopod. Hey, bud. I'm just gonna out. Oh, oh, full restore. What is that junk? What do you mean? So, what do you plan on hunting for shinies? Everything. I'm gonna make a full shiny dex. A full living shiny dex. Step one finish. Finish or finish living decks. Step two. Mm, something competitive in those locky. Because I want to do some competitive stuff, but also everyone wants to see some Nuzlocks. So something competitive in Nuzlocky. Step three. Shiny decks.
Uh, yes, switch Pokemon. I probably definitely outspeed a, a Pelipper. Yeah, so maybe after we finish playing through Sword and Shield, I'll keep working on the the full living deck, so we'll do that for a couple streams and do some raids and such. My low tick is better. My low tick is way better. Looks way better than Galissapod, but Galissapod is really strong. Mm. Ugh. No, Galissapod is a really strong Pokemon. But, uh, yeah, I know. I want to finish my living decks. Then, I know people have been asking for, like, Nuzlocks and things like that. So, we could definitely do some things. Uh, Air Slash. Hopefully, nothing good. Oh, no. Flapple, no. Sir Fetch, get out there and use a Leaf Blade against this thing. Okay, Guzma. Sir Fetched. I'm gonna need you to slice and dice this bird. We're making pheasant stew when we're done tonight. Flapple, this is for you. Dreadna. Nope, we'll keep going. I've been saving your less for best for last. Dreadna. Flame Surfetch, take mine. It's not all about shinies, bro. Not all about shinies. You can Gigantamax Dreadna, huh? Beforehand, you just uh, Dynamax. Now you're Gigantamaxing, huh? Dude, that thing looks kind of dope. I can't even deny it. That thing looks cool. That thing looks really cool. This is a little gift from us. I hope you can take it. Stone Surge? Wait, what? Pointed stones are floating around your team. <laughs> this, this thing... This thing just straight up comes out, almost one-shots me, and I'm just like, poke, and it dies. It was really funny. Oh my gosh. You had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. Uh, and the winner is Landscape. He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you are. I wish I'd paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Galar has got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle uh, of, the, of the first round will begin shortly. Oh, okay. So I have to fight... Gordy got beat, so I have to fight B. Gordy was the one that I struggled against. And it looks like uh, Rihan and Pierre's are fighting off over there. Okay. Pokemon, are you guys healed up? You are healed up. Okay, cool. Dope. Just wanted to make sure. Saving our progress. All right, let's do it. So now I know who I'm actually fighting. I'm fighting the uh, the fighting type dude. Chick. It was a chick. We're already on the second round uh, of the f uh, of the four remaining challenges. Which two will be left for the last match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this year's Cup or Champion Cup as the former gym challenger Bayday stormed the stage. The landscape was having none of it. Oh my gosh, yeah, we took on Nessa. On the other side, we have the Galar Karate Prodigy. Let's hear from gym leader, leader Bay, everyone. Or B. I'd rather fight the Oregon to leave for. I promise you, my attacks will shake your very soul this time. May the best trainer win. Actually, I'm not, I don't hate this too or like really at all. I actually kind of enjoy this. Uh, I think it's pretty nice. I think it's weird that 
it's like magenta and blue all the way around even though i know that's the color of the game but the magenta is kind of weird or like the pink it's more pink than magenta because they make me struggle the older games never really make me struggle actually i don't think any of the games really make me struggle maybe fire red and leaf green did when i first played them uh fighting type pokemon weak against uh I don't know, I'm just gonna pyro ball this thing in the face. It'll probably kill it. Yeah, that was right. I actually also just realized that since I get my HP restored in between every single match and everything, I could actually just pyro ball every single one of these. Ah, uh, for links. Psychic and fairy. <sighs> Rock tomb avoided. Haha. Uh -huh. Use bounce. Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep one. Oh, it's, it's it's the grapple lock. Okay, got it. I was wondering, I was like, which Pokemon is this that's coming out? And then I'm like, wait a minute, I know which one this is. Flying type moves are good against fighting, so we're just gonna bounce. Submission, that didn't work. Also, submission wouldn't be a good move because submission would only work based on how much HP he was missing, so he really wouldn't even do much damage anyways. I only know that because my, my grapple lock has killed way too many things using submission. Nope, keep fighting. Surfetched is grass. Right? Yes, I think so. That's fine, we'll just bounce. I'm not really worried. You know what, I don't even need to Dynamax or anything for this one. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bounce in the very end. Because uh, if it's a fighting type Pokemon again, I just have to bounce. He hasn't even hit my Pokemon. Now that I'm thinking about that. Like. B, er, yeah. B, you haven't even hit any of my Pokemon. It's time to dig in our hero heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. Someone defeated the champion with only a level one gas leaf? What? That's crazy. How can you do such a thing? Oh, fine then. Okay, yep. I knew you were going to Gigantamax. It looked really easy. Yep, somehow I knew you were going to Gigantamax. I'm going to bounce. <laughs> Also, I was actually about to say, uh, wait, G-Max cheese strike? What? No. I was about to make a mention of, even if I missed a bounce, he's only going to hit me once because then he's going to try to hit me here. His Dynamax is, or his Gigantamax will run up. So he only got one chance to hit me with his Gigantamax. Then he shrinks back down, and now his stats are all reduced again, and he's just going to have to experience a bounce as a normal Pokemon. He avoided the attack again. Seriously. I gotta give it to him. He actually, like, avoided the attack. I mean, he didn't avoid a pyro ball, but that's fine. <laughs> eh, too bad. Right? Alright, B. Sorry. We beat you. B has been defeated. Challenge and Landscape has shown his skills. Thank you for a wonderful match. 
I really enjoy battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and so refreshed in a way. I guess you could say it was the best sort of match anyone could have hoped for. I hope you or hope that you'll meet many more trainers and have many more f matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match or match will begin in no time, so stay th in the seats, folks. Okay. Landscape versus uh, Rehan or Rehan. Hey, Shadow Pair, what's up? Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Landscape. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Rehan or Rehan. You look so sloppy out there that people are gonna think we're both weak because we're related. <laughs> you got it wrong, sis. Rayon's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. All right, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle though. I'm counting on you to win, Landscape. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wing just before the final match. Ryan's been waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to the to a right good battle. Okay, cool. Where did my Pokeball go? What do you mean? It's right there. You have an Ultra Ball next to your name. Oh, there it is. It didn't show up on the last message. Oh yeah, it showed up for me too. Or it showed up for me on the last message. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go take on Ryan. Save. You keep talking about mustard, but bro, I'm telling you, like, mustard's good on hot dogs. Honey mustard's even pretty good, too. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will be earning the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant Rising Star Challenger Landscape, or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival? The Tamer of Dragons, Rayon. You're really something else, kid. You made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you. Leon's my rival, and he chose you, so I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm if I'm to beat him. I've revoked or reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Rayon you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Take a selfie mid battle again, dude. Twerkel. What is Twerkel, dude? What are you doing? Twerkel's drought. All right. Uh, effective? No, no, not very effective. Not very effective. All right, we'll just bounce. It's fine. Uh, guys, we're gonna pause for two seconds. Just g give me a second here. I'll be right back. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna pause the fight here too. Uh, I'll be right back. No, do not spam the chat. I am back. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Friend of mine stopped by to drop off some real quick, so I had to run and grab it. Oh. Okay. We're going to switch our Pokemon up real quick over to a bar skewed up. But yeah, no. I, uh, a buddy of mine just dropped off something for me real quick, so I just had to run out and grab it.
power is drained from the from the Twitch gods. Bro, how is that? How that's super effective. How did I not knock him out? Yeah, he used a full restore, so the paralyze is gonna be gone. Was it the DS? No, it was a Ethernet cable. I, uh, my PS4 that I use for trophy hunting and everything has been slowly going to crap, uh, just to put it lightly, where, like, now it, it doesn't work correctly with Wi-Fi, and there's, like, all these other issues it has, and so, uh, instead of using Wi-Fi from now on, I'm gonna use Ethernet, so I'm gonna wire it, and that should fix a lot of my issues, so. Uh, Gudra. Gudra is a dragon. Dragons are weak against dragons. Flapple. But no, it's it, it, funny. Funny enough, it is the same friend who's gonna let me uh, borrow his DS. So that is that is ironic, though. Gudra looks really weird with like goo dripping off of it. Flap will use Drake or Draco Meteor. Cool. Most of this guy's like other Pokemon should all be dragons. So I could probably leave Flapple out here and he'll probably uh, wipe them. Turtonator. Yeah, we'll just keep him. Yeah, I don't know why Gudra is only a dragon. It's just that's kind of weird. Oh. All right, that's another dragon down. So that's three Pokemon taken care of. Flygon. Oh man, whatever will I use to defeat your Flygon? Would it be Draco Meteor? <laughs> so that's how the Terminator died. Name it Lava. Oh no, don't, nope, 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 don't hit me too hard. There we go, yeah. We'll use Draco Meteor again. And this next time, we're gonna use a different move. How do Pokemon die die? Uh, age, maybe. Maybe not. I don't think Pokemon age, do they? Yeah, I don't think Pokemon ever actually, like, age. <sighs> Duraludon. This Pokemon was actually easier to find than uh, Stonejourner. I kid you not, I pressed the wrong button. But yeah, this, this Pokemon has a 1% chance to spawn out where Stonejourner is and I found this thing way easier than I did Stonejourner it took me it took me the better part of 30 or 40 minutes to get the two Stonejourners and it took me almost five or not even five minutes to get this thing. oh that didn't do a whole lot to it G-Max Depletion Yeah, that'll knock out a Flapple. That knocked out Flapple. Uh, I think we're going to take Cinderace. We're just going to go in there with fire and we're just going to smack it. Yeah. 
Dynamax, Max Player. I couldn't tell you, dude. I always just imagine a Pokemon Center is like a vet. You take them in, they give them some medicine, and they feel better. I'm pretty sure in the anime they kind of explain that, that it's like, you kind of take them to a Pokemon Center and they take care of the Pokemon for like a while. It's not like the games where we just walk in and they just heal. They actually like go in and it takes a while for the Pokemon to get healed up. Like they have to rest for a couple days or something. Hmm, we almost took out the Duraludon. Duraludon. Yeah. No, this thing's done next turn. And then we'll have earned the right to fight Champion Leon ourselves. Some far fetched went up. Cool. Easy peasy lemon speedy. Losing the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. Dude, why are you taking a selfie? Why? Not not now. Conjure Landscape sees his victory. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us. Uh, I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number seven, Challenger Landscape has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. This is the result for the final round. Alright, the big moment's finally here. I came just to cheer you on, you know. Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Rillaboom. Right. You reckon I should cheer for Landscape too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Rillaboom. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's time. We've, we've earned this. We've earned this. Let's go fight Leon. Uh, from the very beginning of the game... About a week and a half ago to here. The tents still air on the pitch. And the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that, but abs I absolutely love pushing past that fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gala Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all of the knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Audience, wait, hold on. What? Hey, look at the monitor. What is that on the big screen? Nothing, it was just a logo. Oh god. Hello there, Leon and Landscape. Just letting you know. 
It's time, or I think it's time I brought out about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. Oh dear gosh. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Oh no. Oh no. Hop, what's up? A video stream. That was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. Billy, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? <laughs> I want to help my brother landscape. I've got to, or I've got to, but I can't even imagine to. But I can't even manage to be you. So what sort of help could I ever be? You can help. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark once ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing that about, and where did he, or where do we even hear that name? Back in Modestoke. The statue of the hero in Modestoke. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and the shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, right? Or though, right? We should try to find them, Landscape. But where to start looking? Back in the slumbering wheel? That's it, Landscape. I'm sure it's got to be in the slumbering wheel. That illusion you tried to fight off that day. That must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the Slumbering Wheel. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Okay. Alright, we're going back to the Slumbering Wheel. Huh? Landscape and Hop? Ah, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Have you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonya. The chairman saw to that and to sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wheels? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hamlock Stadium. What are they calling or what are they calling it? The darkest day? It's throwing everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Gala region to ruin in ancient times. Hey, okay, you're back in. So what are you here for, landscape? I'm here to er, I'm here to stop the darkest day. Oh, fuck, I cannot press the right button. I was running over my cord. Start, stop the darkest day. You mean we're going to search for the sword and shield Pokemon? Okay, here, take this. You should head into this, or you should head into the slumbering world. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. Contain three max revives. Wow. Okay. I like Sonya as a character. Okay. <laughs> all that matters is that you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer, after all. Ready for this landscape? I wonder if we'll be, if we're about to head straight into a fog of wall or a wall of fog again. Now that I bother us now, we've both grown loads stronger and so have our Pokemon. Going to the forest about the Wulu uh, whatever, 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 blah blah blah. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see, uh, will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head into or in and add another page to our tale. I don't think there are any Pokemon here I actually need to encounter, so we're just going to kind of go past them. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, she had three max revives to just throw her away, like, no joke. All right, well, well, there are wheezing in here. Got a full restore. 
More wheezing, more wheezing. That ladybug Pokemon. Wheezing, wheezing. No wonder there's so much smog in here. There's so many wheezing. Dude, there there are so many wheezing in here. Hey Hop, found ya. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came in here. No, because the last time you can see in front of your face. Hey! Oh gosh! It's both of them! Okay! Grilled. They really are here. The sword and the shield Pokemon. I knew it! Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those those sword and the shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What? Then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zacian uh, and the shield Pokemon called Zamazenta or Zamazenta. Zamazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering wheel. Sometime long, long ago. Did they really? T Sonya, thanks for digging into it. Even if it's just illusion or whatever, but I hit the button. Maybe the sword and the shield Pokemon that those two used to carry are still here too. Alright, let's go. Oh, pretty. There's a sword and a shield thing there. But you look at that landscape, now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like some stuff of legend. Oh, they're like broken. See that landscape? The sword and the shield. The legends really were true. Lance obtained a rusted sword. It is said that the hero used the sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That settles it. I'm taking the shield. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like I might fall into pieces uh, if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if those rusty old things will really be able to stop the, start, stop the darkest day. But, well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're going to be on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. Maybe I should talk to Hop. Maybe Hop will say something. It's probably still at Hamlock Stadium. Uh, what do you say, Lance? If you want to grab a flying taxi and head to head there, let's go. All right, we're going. Well, there's in landscape and hawk. It's a real shame the way things have turned out. Uh, you make it all the way to the championship match, and then something like this, or for this, something like this to happen. And Chairman Rose thinking that the energy pouring from the, from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future. It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if, if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. We, we should probably follow him. And he's gone. The hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon. I pressed the button. <laughs> 
Uh, and you, you're fixing, uh, you're fixing to help the champion to save everyone in the Gala region. Of course I am. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with his fiercest rival. All teaming up against the Darkest Day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger, into Hamlock Stadium with you. Yay! Challenging. Is she gonna guard the door and prevent me from entering? G Gym Challenger, you must help me. I mean, I, I, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon slowly Dynamax for some reason to start running amok in the stadium. Ram, I mean, Mr. Ram uh, was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternius. Apparently, the energy it's emitted from its body is causing or is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Gala region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. Uh, you can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champions and her brother too, but who knows what's or what is going on. Okay. <laughs> okay, going. I will help you. We will save the day. Here we go. Oh, gosh. What the heck? I'm going to save super quick. What the heck is going on here? And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought up about the darkest day, or should I say the ultimate Pokemon, Eternius. Must I explain myself? For, from your perspective, I suppose it must seem that what I'm I, that I am doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand, but I must prove or provide the Gala region with limitless power or, or energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been giving the wishing, or wishing stars to Eternius. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus about around Hammerlock? That was all part of an, our experiment to awaken Eternius. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Alright, fine. You're challenged by uh, Rose. All right, well, here we go. Of course we can Dynamax. Why wouldn't we be able to Dynamax right now? A Scavalier. Oh. All right, well, the Scavalier's down. You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? No, I don't think it's unfair. I'm here to stop you. Clean Clang? Dude, you you guys all use steel type Pokemon. I have a fire starter. Like This was literally set up that if you take the fire starter, this game will be super easy. Clean Clang. Okay, Ferrothorn, seriously. Grass. Grass steel. Bruh. Bruh. Pyro ball much? Pyro ball much. It's fine. I still haven't seen Eternius. All I see is a big shell. Is the big shell your Pokemon? Your Eternius? Hmm? Is that, is that Eternius? Do I have to throw a Pokeball at the broken ball? Perserker. Bro, a Perserker of all things? Seriously? Like, you have a Perserker?
Copper Raja. Okay. And we know we we already know that Copper Raja will Gigantamax. This isn't looking too good. Yes, that thing will Dynamax. Or Gigantamax. Lance, you have not even seen the Pokemon you were, you were going to face. Oh, okay. I thought maybe I had. Hmm. Hmm, yes, quite. Not garage, uh. But, hear me out. Crazy thing. Pyro Ball. He, what? He avoided the attack? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna just level with you guys. That was kind of bad. So we're going to max flare. I wasn't going to go max. But we missed our attack and now I have to max flare. Did I even have breakfast this morning? I don't think I even had breakfast this morning. I haven't even had lunch yet. Like Ugh. Man, am I getting hungry? Max flare. There we go. That looks better. Sorry, Copper Raja. It just had to be done. You dodged my attack. We defeated Rose. I knew he was evil. I called it from the beginning that he was evil. I've forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That sure was satisfying. You kind of got whooped, dude. Most impressive landscape. I wouldn't expect anything less from the challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Gala region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two. I'm terribly... Ah, uh, crap. It's too bad, but it can't be helped now. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternius. But we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like the knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from the dragon, I do tend to ramble on. I know. I love to. I love to make speeches, but I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternius by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, Ray Hop. I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither, neither me nor my Pokemon gave, or are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organized. All right, Lance. I'm ready for anything, are you? Of course. All right, let's go. Uh, save quick. Your progress has been saved. Oh! Oh, that's Eternius. Oh. That's cool. How did they think waking that thing up would be good? That thing looks evil. You came to help me in spite of the danger. Thanks, Hop. And you, Landscape. You two really have grown tremendously. But no need for you kids to worry. It seems like some power of Eternius is, was keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but we've had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my champion team members have really worn Eternius down. Now, if I can simply catch it in a Pokeball, we should be able to get this madness under control. Then everything will be back to normal. So watch this. I'm going to be a real champ. Or it's going to be a real champion catch. One. Oh, what? It broke the Pokeball. I 
Okay, it broke the Pokeball. Eternius has appeared. Well, he said he already weakened Eternius. So, I'm just going to throw an off. You can't throw a po What? What do you mean I can't throw a Pokeball? What do you mean? I can't throw a Pokeball at this thing? Seriously? How do I throw a Pokeball at this thing? I want to catch it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt bad. You have to kill it. Oh, I have to kill it? Like, this match, I have to kill it? Okay, cool. If I have to kill it, then we will kill it. Okay. Then how do you, how do you, how do you get Eternius? If I have to kill it. Dynamax Cannon? I'm sorry, excuse me. What? What was that? What, what's this move? What? Okay. Um. Well. Well. No spoilers, that's right. It's, that move is two times effective to Dynamax Pokemon? Oh gosh. Oh no, dude. Good thing I was given the max revives. That's what it was for. Oh my gosh, no. Come on. Come on. We got this thing. Let's go back uh, down towards the bottom. Max revive. Use. In a race. There we go. Yeah, I saw that coming. I saw that coming from a mile away. Do, do I catch this thing later on? Like, is there a later point that I can catch this thing? Or is this like a... Flipping through the rest of the book. Alright, I didn't see a picture of it anywhere. I have to be able to catch it after this battle or something. Bag. Max revive. Use flapple. And flapple out, and I hope flapple out speeds this thing. But this thing is uh, legendary, so it's not likely. Draco Meteor, Draco Rush, Draco Meteor. Dude, stop! Come on! Oh my god, come on. I just got him back on the field. Cinderius, let's go. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, dude, how how are you doing how are you still using that move? He's using it again.
I can only hope when I land he uses flamethrower. Yes! Thank gosh. Thank gosh, thank gosh. So, and I can't throw a Pokeball, so I have to defeat it. Okay, got it. Cross Poison, Dynamax Cannon, Flamethrower. What a move pool, dude. What is going on? Oh no. Oh no, does that have a Gigantamax form? What the heck? Bro, I need, I need a second to heal my Pokemon. Oh my gosh, it's a ra- oh my gosh. Wow, it's huge. Let's take it on together, landscape. Oh, okay, all my Pokemon are healed. Right? Yeah, cool. Lance, you better catch it. Oh, I catch it in the end, right? Like. Yeah, because I can't, I can't catch it right now. I will catch it. I will catch it. I promise. I promise. You got my word. I will catch this thing. What? I can't use any moves. I forgot. We found the sword and the shield on the slumbering wield. Landscape, use that sword. It might be old and rusted, but uh, there's got to be some use to it. I got it. Okay, cool. Am I going to stab this thing with a sword? I'm going to be really disappointed. They're coming. Oh, that's kind of dope. That's kind of cool. Normal Pokemon can't use any moves, but these Pokemon can. Okay, so this is how they take on their other forms. Got it, got it, okay. Okay, so it's four of us versus him. Okay. Got it. Is one just gonna increase my attack and one is gonna increase my, de my defense? Or everyone's defense? Is that what they're gonna do?
Bro, double edge did like nothing. Uh Behemoth Blade, okay. It's a massive blade. I'd say that's a pretty good dent. I'm using bounce, so I don't get killed. I am I'm literally using bounce so I don't get killed. Sure are helping. I know, aren't I? Look at me. Look at me. I'm dealing damage. Bro, I've done more damage than Hop. Even after two attacks from Hop, I've done more damage. Hop has done more damage to himself than he's done to Eternius. Okay, bounce wasn't worth it. I should have just stuck with Pyro Ball. This is actually uh, this is kind of interesting. It's actually kind of cool that you, you get to do a team battle alongside the two legendary Pokemon to fight the other legendary Pokemon. Yeah, but Hop sucks, so he has a reason to Oh, uh, that's funny. Fireball on Eternius. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think we're gonna do, deal enough damage here. I'm gonna lose Cinderace this, this turn. Sadly, yeah, sadly, we're gonna. We're, I think we're gonna lose Cinderace this turn, and then uh, I think we'll switch over to Falapple, and then Falapple will be able to come in and do some dragon type moves. It would actually be kind of cool if we could see, uh, if we could see, like, the champion laying down behind us or something or whatever. He's a max flare. Okay, thank gosh. No! What, what do you mean you avoided my Draco Meteor? Screw you! My Flapple does not have that low of a speed that you could just avoid everything he does. That's so dumb. I'm s that's so annoying, dude. That's so, so annoying. And then he just kills my flap. Like, God, I just. That's so dumb. I don't get it. It's dumb. Send out Corbin Knights. Use drill pack. 
You're gonna increase our stats, but there's no point, bro, because he's just gonna turn around and decrease our stats before I can attack, because he's gonna outspeed me. Oh, look, see? He outspeeds me. Like, what the heck? No, you don't. This thing's speed stat cannot be that high. If it's that high, th th there's no way. Can I use a Pokeball? Can't throw a Pokeball. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Use Metal Claw. Thank you. Try to catch Eternius now. Catch. Uh, Ultra Ball. One shake. Two shake. Three shake. Capture. They're just legend Pokemon. They're just Pokemon of legend. Dang. That was pretty cool. When done. Three days later. Okay. So Chairman Rose turned himself in then? Never thought I'd live to see the day. He awoke Eternius and nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what you sow, I say. Oh, yeah, he turned himself in. Okay. I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. Everyone's still talking about what happened, but at least things are back to normal now. We really... Ah, uh, crap. I pressed the button. <laughs> and still, he's... Uh, well, he's being Lee, insisting on having a championship match with you today. It's a bit much, isn't it? You sure you're up for it? I'm not even too sure about him. He was out cold and hurt pretty badly himself during all that mess. I do understand how he feels, though. Feels like I've been waiting forever to get to see you and him face off in a serious match. So come on. The match will be at Wind or Windom Stadium. Where else? All right. <clears throat> Going to Windom Stadium. Should we should we continue going? Should we go do the championship match or should we should we pause there? I'm just thinking, thinking about the I think we should have some time. All right. Going to battle the champion. What? I can only assume my Pokemon were healed. Yeah. I hope they were healed because if they weren't, that's really dumb. And these stalls won't still won't let me buy anything from them. 
Yep, still won't let me buy anything. This is the final match against the champion, the championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? I'm ready to beat him. Then change your uniform and head out onto the pitch. All right, here we go. My matches are always sold out, but this, I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Landscape. They know you're the one who caught Eternius and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon uh, Zacian and Zama and Z Zenta. I, could have, or I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you with, into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Landscape. Let's make this a, a final match that will go down in Galar's history. No, a match that will change Galar forever. We're going to have an absolutely champion time. No, I didn't forget. I chose not to. You are challenged by Champion Leon. Aegis Slash, huh? Alright. Let's go, Leon. It's one of the dudes of the champion to get the crowd fired up. Are you going to talk just as much as your little brother does? King Shield? What? We're not doing this, bro. We're not doing this whole, this whole, you outspeed me, I'm going to protect myself every turn sort of thing. Knock it off. No. You're not, we're not doing that. A super effective hit. I'd expect nothing less from your team. Haxorus. Uh, Haxorus is a ground. No, we need a dragon Pokemon. What am I talking about? I think Haxorus is a dragon Pokemon. We need a, we need a dragon type move. I know protective moves always go first, okay? I thought for a second he was outspeeding me. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. Of course. That's it. I'm not I'm not using Flapple anymore. He's done. He's off the team. He's off the team. I I'm so done with Flapple. I can't even, dude. I I can't. I I'm just I can't. I can't. I can't. He like I got to look up his speed stat. I am so annoyed by Flapple. What is your speed stat, bro? How slow are you? You're slow! Ah, oh, god, his speed stat is low! Like, maybe if I trained him up, and I, like, EV trained him? Maybe, but gosh, dang it, no! He's just... No! Oh, I can't! I can't! He's so frustrating. Like, I could just take any other dragon that has a higher base speed stat and he'd, it'd be better than Flapple.
Dude, Flapple do be like that. Even Cinderace is getting beat up by this Haxorus. Like, I can't even. Yeah, I'm salty. I just... I'm really salty about it, okay? Like, I am I am truly salty about it. Knock yourself out, bro. No, of course. You you got past the confusion to land an earthquake. So much salt. Ugh. Yeah, I, I am definitely being salty about, about like, Flapple. I thought he'd be a really cool Pokemon and really awesome. No, he's crap. I'm gonna hope this guy actually hits himself with, uh, you know, being with being confused, and I can just revive some of my Pokemon. No, snapped out his confusion. Use the full restore, of course. It's not your Pokemon. It's you. You're sure, bro. I have no control over the speed of my Pokemon. No control. Like if my Pokemon is just slow as hell. My Pokemon is slow as hell. That's on. That's on at him. Like, Poke. Like he should be faster. Yeah, but I wasn't going to EV train to take on the champion. That seemed like overkill. No, apparently it wasn't overkill. It was definitely like, oh yeah, Lance, you needed to go above and beyond and be a super tryhard to just take on Leon. They Like this whole game, this whole game, they hype up Leon, they hype up Leon and all this other stuff. And like with just base playing through the game, doing a couple raids, it's like, oh yeah, I'm able to take care of any of this stuff. But the second that it's like, oh yeah, about to fight Leon. Nope, now we're going super try hard. Super, super try hardy. Ugh. Nah, dude, I, I completely disagree. I think Leon's doing a fine job here. I think only Leon's doing just fine. Sprinkle salt everywhere. Yeah, go ahead. Keep sprinkling your salt. Do it. That's fine. The the one dragon type Pokemon I have that, you know, could have been really good to take on all of his dragons here that he has, the two of them, Haxorus and Dragapult. Nope. Nope. It's fine. Because we're just gonna he's just gonna die right away. Max revive, okay. Gonna knock out Sir Fetch. I really don't care. Lance is salty. Because his flapple is just so bad. Flapple, have I told you yet that I'm retiring you? Yeah, yeah, I could have looked at the Pokemon stats before I used it. I get it. Whatever. We're, we'll Dynamax. We'll see. We'll see if we can even like withstand any attack being in a Dynamax form where you have extra health and boosted stats. Can you be any good if you're Dynamax Flapple? Can ya? All right. Let's see. You have a whole extra 100 HP, like 96. It was like 96 or 90, 94 HP. Dragon Breath. Okay. Cool. Oh look, you can actually do something. Got a whole thing of salt to sprinkle. Mr. Rhyme. Uh, no, I'll keep battling since I already Dynamaxed. Uh, Mr. Rhyme. Uh, they're all effective, so whatever. Let's use this. 
Oh, so I have something really funny to show you guys here as soon as this battle's done. He used freeze drive. Oh, gosh. Oh, Cinderace, get out here. Oh. Okay, well, he's going to heal himself up. I already know. So, why don't we... Why don't we do ourselves a favor and bring... You know, this is going to be really dumb because I'm going to end up hitting myself and dealing more damage. Oh, I did use it. Thank gosh. Yes. That is why we brought... Flapple back. I literally brought Flapple back because I knew he had a water type Pokemon somewhere. This Inteleon be literally be like, you didn't, you didn't uh, take me in the beginning of the game, so now I'm gonna cry here and show you and blah blah blah. I, I can't even. I can't even. Use tearful look. That's fine. That's fine. Use tearful look. I, I don't care. I, I don't care. Do it. Do it. Use it against me. It's cool. I'm going to drop another ap apple on your head. Flapple's got this, bro. He's taking you down, Leon. I've had to listen to your annoying brother all day. I've had to listen to your banter all game. Like, I just... It's fine. It's fine. You can keep sending all you want at me. It's cool. All you have left of yours now is that, that dumb old Charizard... You're going to send that out? I'll switch Pokemon. What? Type advantage? That's crazy. I've never even heard of such a thing. Barraskeeda. I'm not finished having a champion time here, and I won't let anyone else finish it for me. Liquidation. I'll show you what Charizard can really do. It's Gigantamax time. I'm still just going to use the liquidation on you. Okay, if you don't kill me. What? You know a grass type move? What is that crap? What? Okay, hold up. Slayer, you cannot say G Max Charizard is really not that strong when he's gonna whip out a grass type move against my Barrascuta. He is definitely strong, especially when he does that. Because I won Jada, oh, I won Jada level 65, using level 100 Pokemon. Mm. Yeah, I'm salty. I'm very salty right now. I should just free by Barrascuta. I want to see salt emotes in chat. I'm, I'm, I'm super salty right now. You know what? You tell me exactly what level 70 Pokemon you used. Tell me that you did not EV or IV train it. And then I will come back. I will go get it. And I will come back in here. And I will use whatever move you used. And if I one-shot it, I will admit that I'm wrong. If I do not one-shot it, you have lied to me. I will 
repeat what you've done. You tell me what Pokemon, what move, and I will go do it. And I, like, I, I will 100% do it. Nope, I will, I will restart the game, good sir. I will put all my Pokemon and Pokemon home. I will play through the entire game again, or when I get Pokemon Shield, I'll do it then. But I will, I will fight the Charizard with exactly what you got. I just shot Charizard with a water-based move that actually does like pretty decent damage. The, the only difference was a couple levels. Okay, hold up, bag. Max revive, or revive, Barrascuta. Like, yeah, no. I, I don't see, I don't see a way to simply one shot the, or his Charizard, unless if you're gonna be level 80 or 90. Actually, that being said, Slayer, what Pokemon did you use? Swear to God, if you come back and you say you use the Legendary. Swear to God. Like, if you come back and you're like, oh yeah, I one-shot it with Eternius using Dynamax can No. No way. Like, like yeah, I get like at that I get at that point, oh, you'll one-shot it, sure, but... Flygon, okay, what move? The Sandstorm is kind of ruining this moment, if I'm being honest. My time as champion is over, but what a champion time it's been. Thank you all for the greatest battle I've ever had. I don't know what's happening. Earthquake. Congratulations, Landscape. You've beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become a first-rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. <sighs> we did it. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking... Uh, it's time we adults started working to improve the here and now for the sake of all that's to come. And you, Landscape, what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting ahead in order to create that bright future we all hope to see. People of Galar, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Landscape. But you can't wait to see what kind of future this kid with this, or with this kind of strength and have. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. All right. It's Pokemon Sword. Oh. Oh, that was Pokemon Sword. Or was it Tyranitar with Earthquake? Two, two big differences there between Flygon and Tyranitar. Two massive differences. Also, yes, for anyone still wondering, Lance is full of salt. <laughs> I will not deny that I'm full of salt. So it's crazy that they're playing in a band right now. Like there's a band playing. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool.
Oh, that was a good game. I'm not looking at chat right now, sorry. Uh, it, wa it was Tyranitar with Earthquake. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, of course I'm filled with salt. Tyranitar is a pseudo legendary. I'm, I'm using Barascuta. I have my see my restriction was I could only use Pokemon in this region, non-legendary like like non-legendary is only using Pokemon that I caught in this region. Like if I could have used other Pokemon, I mean like, I, shoot, I would have pulled other Pokemon out like, level 100 Swampert, I have Lucario sitting there waiting to go. Like, I could have pulled out I could have pulled out like anything to like fight Leon, but I wanted to do it with only Pokemon from the Galar region. I guess, you know, in, in, like, in the, for the sake of things, I did make it more difficult on myself because there were many Pokemon I could have gone out and gotten. Like, there were, there were so many Pokemon from not, from, like, not Galar specific Pokemon, like, new Pokemon that I could have used that would have made the Leon fight a lot easier. You're right, Swampert isn't in the game, but just, just as an example, I could have pulled anything else out. Using Galar like Pokemon, even going back to look like so Dragon Base. Uh, if I wanted a faster Dragon, I should have actually gotten uh, Dracovish. Dracovish would have been great with it being a Water Dragon Pokemon. I could have actually taken the time to go get Dragapult. Dragapult would have been smart. I said no. I said no Legendary, so I can't even touch that. Where are the Dragon Pokemon? Were there? There weren't. Just that. Well, and I don't even know if I can get Dr uh, Draco Vish or if I need the shield for that. I'd have to. I'm gonna have to look into that because that's one of the fucking missing. Dreepy would have been a huge grind, so we really wouldn't have been finishing the game today. Is there something better than Barisc or Barascuta that I could have used for water? Dreadnought, maybe. No, Draco Vish would have been the better, best water Pokemon I could have used. Truly. Yeah, because I wasn't going to take Sobble in the beginning. I'm really glad with the choices I did make. They are not version exclusive. Yeah, I think I think in the long run, at the end of this, there was definitely uh, or there were definitely other Pokemon I could have taken that would have made this made this a whole lot easier for a final fight. I just didn't take the time to grind it out or go get them. Which is kind of funny, because I got all the Pokemon that don't matter. But the two Pokemon that could have made the final fight against Leon a lot easier, I didn't get. So, that is on my that is on me. I can't... I, I'm not saying it's not on me. It is, it is on me. It's just, I'm really... I'm a little disappointed, because I thought Flapple would be... Or would have a better speed stat to it, and I was wrong. I... Like, I thought Falafel was, was pretty good with its speed stat. I thought maybe its special defense and defense was a little low, but the fact that it got outspeed by mostly everything is a little upsetting. Oh. Uh, Dracovish is really good. Yeah, I actually, I, uh, watched a video the other day that you can actually take on the battle tower mainly with Dracovish. You need, like, Dracovish and, like, one other Pokemon. Uh, I think you just take, like, the legendary sword Pokemon. But if you take those two Pokemon, you can single-handedly take out the battle tower with those two Pokemon. And I was like, that's crazy. Congratulations, champion. Here, I've got a little something for you to, or as a celebration. A Master Ball. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate. I'm mugging you again. Professor Magnolia. Uh, why you don't or you didn't have to come all this way after everything landscape has achieved it's really the least I could do the wishing stars that make Dyna or dynamaxing possible are parts of Eternius and with or when Eternius was awakened dynamaxing energy flooded the entire region because of that dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over causing trouble across all of Galar but landscape and his friends came to our rescue the dynamaxing phenomenon has long been an important part of Galar culture I hope everyone will use the power of dynamaxing correctly in the days to come so, young landscape, please do what you believe is best. I know what that Master Ball's for. Poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions, since she helped out, or carry out so much of the researching into Dynamaxing for him.
Oh, we're in the post game. I can't go anywhere else while we're in the post game. Oh, gotcha. I was going to say, like, taking a look at the town map, it wasn't... Okay, it will let me fly up here. I was about to say, like, it wasn't going to let me, like, fly anywhere. That, or I just don't remember being all the way down here. I don't remember being this far down. Wasn't there, like, all this other stuff that I could go to here? Like, there used to be, like, all this other... Was there not? Am I just, like, seeing things? No, yeah, I'm just seeing things. There was never, like, all this stuff here. I always thought there was stuff here. Huh. I guess I was always just, like, this far north that I, I totally forgot about everything way down below. Um, but, yeah, no, I guess I can go everywhere here. I do have to do the post game though, so that's something we'll be doing. Oh, well, that was fun. That was really good. Sure, my fight against Leon had me a little salty because Flap or Flapple sucks, and that's good to know, and I will put him away pretty shortly here. But uh, I'm pretty happy with how, how the game went overall. I'm also pretty happy with our time for beating it. Uh, you know, it could have been way longer. So, yeah, for now, we will we'll call that quits on the game. Uh, voice crack, though. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, tomorrow when we, or when I stream, uh, I think tomorrow I will be streaming tomorrow afternoon. But again, check on Twitter. I always post on Twitter when I'm going to be going live. Sometimes it's just half an hour or an hour beforehand. Sometimes it's even, you know, even sooner or even later, whatever, maybe. Okay, 12 year old, right? Uh, that being said, we will be continuing on tomorrow with the post game, uh, to continue going. Oh, what I wanted to show you guys, which really caught me off guard a little bit. So I obviously have the the guide to the game, and I obviously knew what Pokemon, like right as I was going into the fight, I was able to see what Pokemon Leon had. It really threw me for a loop, right? Because according to the guide, I'm gonna try to show you here, I don't see a Mr. Rhyme in there. I see a Seismitoad, and I'm like, what? So the second he said, or said it's sending out Mr. Rhyme, I was like, dude, hold up, what? You can see there's no other team roster on the page. If I go back a page, there's also no other team roster. There was nowhere that it, it stated I would be fighting a Mr. Rhyme, which is what kind of caught me off guard a little bit, right? That's weird. So that means that they either made an update to the game that changed his roster, or they mis like printed in the book. They put a seismitoad there instead of a Mr. Rhyme. So that's why when I was fighting him, I'm like, uh, that's weird. But anyways, uh, yeah, that, that all aside, it looks like we have another... Oh, I'm looking here. We're on page 145. It looks like it goes all the way up to page 160. So we have another 15 pages of game content to go through. Probably a whole nother stream. Uh, it looks like it's just side stuff and as a side note, I will I haven't so I have not been reading through the strategy guide so far But for post game stuff, I will just to see what it has us doing because it normally has you kind of going all over the place a little bit So we will read through that. Uh, it was last minute changes. Oh, really? Okay If it was I mean yeah, that works too, but I won't I won't continue playing I will wait until the next time I stream which will be tomorrow for us to continue playing through the game do the post game and then from there it's gonna be kind of doing like uh raids and just everything else and everything we're going to be doing from there i want to go get some dittos i want to get some pokemon i don't have uh maybe start uh getting some like perfect iv pokemon and ev pokemon training getting better teams uh you know kind of kind of all things like that um yeah i figure the post game is not going to be that hard so it'll be fun I think we'll also kind of talk about the future of like what we'll, what we'll be doing next. So I do want to do some competitive Pokemon, but I also would like to look into uh, doing some Nuzlocks and doing uh, maybe some shiny hunting here and there. I also have Pokemon Let's Go or Let's Go Eevee to play through. So if we want to do like Let's Go Eevee and such and maybe do some like shiny hunting and that, that could be cool. Uh, whatever. Oh, yep. Also, Isle, or Isle of Armor. I should probably get through that do the DLC, actually get the DLC for the game. You know, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the stream and uh, had a good time with us going through this. We will continue doing so uh, again tomorrow. 
And then, like I said, uh, there's a Ditto Island on the Isle of Armor. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that would make that really easy. Well, then we'll consider that as well. Uh, and then, yeah, just be sure to look out on Twitter um, or check Discord to see when the next uh, when I'm going to go live tomorrow. I think it's going to be tomorrow afternoon. All depends. I have to check schedules and everything tomorrow, but uh, I'll probably try to put out a tweet later tonight to let everyone know what time tomorrow the stream will be so you guys can be here. But until next time, thank you guys all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching. Uh, and we'll be continuing it up tomorrow, and there's a lot more Pokemon to come. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.